Welcome back to the highest podcast in the motherfucking world. <laughs> Highway <laughs> Culture. Y'all know what the fuck it is, but in case y'all forgot, I am your host, Lee. <laughs> Clap for me, man. If you want to stop me, you're going to have to fucking kill me. Joining me are my friends and co-hosts, Fina. <laughs> hey, yo. What's the motherfucking word? Not a motherfucking thing. And Ron! Hey! What's the word, y'all? <laughs> Not a motherfucking thing. We back nigga. in this bitch. Yeah, we back in this bitch, man. Y'all right? Yeah, you see the Warriors get smacked by the Mavericks. The Mavericks about to come back. No, they not. I think it is. No, we not. We not starting. We not starting with sports, nigga. I just wanted to say something. I had my say my shit. So that's not even your team. The Lakers is your team. No, I LeBron told you is my team. LeBron, he's not allowed to claim a team. LeBron's my team. Yeah, that's it. That sound gay sounded. That sound <laughs> Listen, gay. I, I can it. speak for oh. myself if that's cool. You know what, man? This is what we starting at. This is what we starting. What are we doing? Why do you spend all this time running for the United States Senate? Why do you go through all the hassle of getting this job, of putting yourself in a position of authority, if your answer is that as this slaughter increases, as our kids run for their lives, we do nothing? What are we doing? Why are you here? If not to solve a problem as existential as this. What we doing, y'all? What we doing? What the fuck? What the fuck are we doing, man? I another. Another one. And not in time. You know what I mean? Shooting nigga at an elementary school. I think I'm, I think what he means is what, like, what are we going to do? Like, I, I'm, I'm over. Oh, remember the victims? Of course, remember the victims. But for them, more than anyone, what are we going to do to change this type of behavior? Like, what? What are we going to do? No, I think he's asking the fucking lawmakers. Yes. Yeah. What yeah. are you in this right. seat? Going to do. What's the, why do you, why, why do you, do you run? Day? You're not doing any good for anybody up here. At all. Why the fuck are you here? This was. How did this happen? Nigga, we let this shit happen. We well, let it happen for you. Bro, I seen the, I seen the pictures of, of the students. And God forbid if I sent one of my kids out and they didn't return home, bro. <sighs> this shit broke my heart. This was unfathomable. I can tell you this from here from here on out. I, I always try to, but I will never again ever be mad at my kids and send them off at school. Ever. <laughs> ever again. Ever. 19 students and two adults. It was the deadliest school shooting since the Sandy Cook massacre in fucking connecticut that was 10 years ago that was in 2012 we have not learned since then nigga there's been like nine right. there's been like almost a thousand fucking shootings i seen a graph seen on a gra campus i seen a graph on school like campus since columbine i believe is what it was i could be wrong they said it was like 288 school shootings and like that's just school shooting. But it was like Canada and the rest of the world. They were weren't even in double it's, digits. Yeah, they was in single digits. Weren't nigga. even in double digits. I think the highest motherfucker was like eight. I think the highest was eight. You seen yeah. so you seen that shit too, bruh. Yeah, I seen that shit. Thirty one fucking people since senselessly murdered within the last two weeks by eighteen year olds in full body fucking armor. How did you not know? Bro, two weeks. Within two weeks, we lost 31 fucking people to some fucking kids, And, and nigga. he said he was bullied? I don't give a fuck no, what fuck was wrong that. with this nigga. So you take lives of innocent kids, and then you popped your own grandma. That nigga did shoot his grandma before he left the house. What are you? She probably, what? Was, she probably was getting that nigga prepared for school. Packing his lunch. You weird ass bitch. I'm glad it. they fucking shot his Whoa. ass. Oh, and they killed him. But good. you made a good point why they killed him. Because he wasn't white. He was big, bingo, bingo. He wasn't white. White people are going to make the trial. 
We know this. Unfortunately, I hate to say that. Nigga, it's not safe to go to school, to the grocery store, to the church, to movies, a concert, you can't get a be- fucking massage. Kids are off limits. I don't understand how many times I got to say this. Kids are off fucking limits. That shit irks me, bro. The shit won't change until one of these motherfuckers walk into one of these rich private schools. And then it becomes and a problem. somebody's fucking rich ass right. kid is shut up. Coca-Cola, one of these Coca-Cola CEO, God forbid, or you know what I mean? Like a, a major company that has, you know, be, money. Right. Because that's money. That's the, because money. These, money. these, these, the, uh, you know, the, the, the people in it gotta Buffalo. Happen, it got to happen to the right white person. It's got to happen to the, man, it's got to happen to the motherfucking people. It's got to happen to the lawmakers. The shit got to hit their front door. I don't know how the fuck Sandy Hook did hit your front door. Oh, yeah, right. Right. It's, uh, it's just unfathomable how long we've let this go on. Um, you know, I think that it's. There's so many things we need to do to change this. You know what I mean? Like there, there needs to be a law on assault rifles, um, where we the increase the age of who can who can purchase that. There needs to be more extensive background checks. There needs to be Fuck mental yeah. health checks. There needs to be mental health checks when purchasing weapons. Nigga, because not just anybody can have a weapon. Not everybody needs a weapon, bro. There needs I- to be that. But then also the accountability needs to go to the parents. You need to, you need to watch your kids. Right. I, I you can't really even... need to look and, and watch what your kids are doing. Right. And understand when your kids are fucked up. The shooter in Buffalo had already threatened to shoot up a school. Right. How are we letting this person walk around? Why are we, why are we not putting our children inpatient for these type of actions? Like if right. you see those signs, you know what I mean? Like there has to be something. Right. Yeah. You, you know your fucking kid. You, sh- you know should... if your kid fucked up unless you don't know your kid. You're a bad fucking parent. I can't even rent a car until, what, I'm 25 by myself without a co-signer, but I can go in and walk in and get a gun at 18? Bro, they need, that's, that's all they need that's, to do. That's if weird. They need to strengthen, they you know, strengthen the that, purchasing the of fucking getting guns. Unfortunately, I know. They don't. need to make it, they need to make that shit hard to get a fucking gun. Pause. Yeah. yeah. Pause. You gotta, you, it's gotta be, it's gotta be damn near impossible to get a fucking gun. I don't know about that, but I think, I think the little higher, uh, end rifles and shit like that, that needs to be a little higher. I think, pistol, I don't, everyone get a pistol. You get a pistol. That's cool. You get a pistol. But the higher rifle shit, that shit. Oh, that assault be, rifle shit yes. that could take out an entire goddamn Correct. block. Right. AR 15. Fuck you got this for. I, I get a it. It's a second amendment. Sweeper. I get you're, not, it. you're not hunting with this. this no one's just, hunting with an AR 15. It should be, it should, it should be like, and you live in this uh, in Texas. I get it. Like the people shoot guns. Texas is a big a gun state. They're very pro gun, and they have the most sh- school shootings out of any other state. It's crazy. Just how, just how we, when you it's set a big a, state. When, just when you send an appointment, like you know, like uh, government funding or something, and they tell you come in and check your background and who you are and distinguish if you can have government funding. And, I, and okay, well, we there needs to be a process like that. There needs to be a whole interview, like three part interview. To be honest with you, to be honest with you, that 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 absolutely, absolutely, yeah, you have to add fucking just more precautions. You need to add a, a, a human has more to parameters. judge you. Unfortunately, I think that the like I'm obviously I'm very pro, you know, owning a weapon. You a should be show. able to, you know what I mean. You should be able to own a weapon to protect yourself, and that's what it should be for, not for this. So I, yeah, I do agree. I think we need something that's a stronger checkpoints prior to owning a weapon. Um, and the fact that they said that he was bullied, I, see that was, I think he said he was bullied because he was poor. Yeah. Obviously not an excuse. First, But he's not poor either. He also had enough money to buy an AR-15. Right. He took a picture. with well, A picture they posted was him holding his fucking iPhone 13 Pro Max. Yeah. It's a $1,200 phone. Right. You know what I mean? How broke are you? But you got to admit. You gotta I don't admit, believe that. You got to admit, mass shooting is some broke shit, though. Broken Dude. mentally, financially, and emotionally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not always, bro, bro, though. Down. But not always. Because you got to think, a lot of the school shootings be kids themselves. Yeah. They're, and they're not always in that position. He was. But it usually is being bullied for something. It doesn't mean you're poor, though. You could have all the money in the world and still get made fun of. Right. And I think that, and I think that when these fucking school shootings happen, all this does is entice. It entices. Yeah. It entices these motherfuckers. It doesn't prevent... No. no, it makes it more real. Like, oh, like shit. oh shit! Oh, he's eighteen. Oh, I can give me a fucking, I can give me an AR fifteen to eighteen now. 
90. I can give me a fucking 80. I can give me an AR-15 before I graduate. Fuck out of here, nigga. Fuck. If we took, That's if we crazy. took care of, if we took care of like the gun control issue in America, that would solve a lot of fucking problems in America. Yeah. Absolutely. Murder, suicide, mass shootings, all of that should be down across the fucking board. Robbery. There's Robberies. No, there's no reason there should be more mass shootings than days in the year. Absolutely not. Right. That's crazy, nigga. And, what? More than, yeah. and, and killing every country. Like, every country, does, like, it does, this isn't a problem. It's only been 145 days, and we have had over 260 fucking mass shootings. Mass shootings. How? And they classify a mass shooting as anybody more it's like more than a group of four people getting shot up. So that's, that's a man that's still classified as a mass shooting. Yeah. If we took care if we took care of the fucking gun problem in America, that would fix the vast majority of America's issues, bro. Like imagine just like, I can't even imagine dropping your kids off and never see them again. Bro. And never seeing them yeah. again. I, 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 I wouldn't know what to do with myself, bro. And then you got the president and the vice fucking president on fucking TV. Asking us to do something. You do something. Right. right. Do something. You're the lawmakers. You literally can do something. Nigga, you're the president. Nigga, do something. Fuck. Executive order, bitch. Right. Where are those executive orders at? Sleepy ass, sudden. dude. Steve Kerr said it best. Man, are we going to do something? I'm tired. I'm, I'm so tired of getting up here and offering condolences to to the devastated families that are out there. I'm so tired of the, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm tired of the moments of silence. Enough. There's 50 senators right now who refuse to vote on HR 8, which is a background check rule that the House passed a couple of years ago. It's been sitting there for two years. And there's a reason they won't vote on it, to hold on to power. So I ask you, Mitch McConnell, I ask all of you senators who refuse to do anything about the violence and school shootings and supermarket shootings, I ask you, are you going to put your own desire for power ahead of the lives of our children and our elderly and our churchgoers? Because that's what it looks like. Talk that shit. Man. He, he was saying something. And I... You got the president and the vice fucking president talk about we need to do something. Nigga, no, y'all fucking do, do something. something. That's like me asking my kids, what the fuck we eating for dinner tonight? The fuck I'm asking them that for? My kids gonna look at me like, do something. What the right. fuck? Because if you leave it up to me, nigga, we eat chicken nuggets for motherfucking dinner tonight. Right, you don't want that cook. You bought the shit. Tell me I can't have it. The fuck you asking us to do something for? Do something, Biden. Wake your ass up, sleepy ass nigga. Hello. There's no fucking yeah. way y'all have no idea what the fuck y'all doing. You know what? I'll take that back. COVID. The motherfuckers didn't know, do, they didn't know what to do with COVID. They couldn't even get a country to keep their fucking mask on. Fuck make you think they go keep motherfuckers from us. Uh, this is a wild ass country, bro. We li Bro, we are seeing, a, like, I'll tell you this. We won't be surprised when the world is. No. I'm not going to be as surprised. When the, the world ends, when the world ends. We all seen it coming. You're going to see it coming, and you're not even going to be fucking surprised. You're going to be desensitized to the end of the world. Damn. I feel like people don't realize that we are really staring down the, the barrel of a civil war in this country at some point. Like, we are very divided as a fucking country right now. I know if, that, if it happened once, it can happen twice. That's right. right. It can happen three times. Our country is ran by power hungry dumbasses. But they don't do anything. This is the At laziest all. job in the world. They just go around and talk to people all day. They more worried about fucking abortions and what women can do with their bodies than fucking mass shootings, nigga. Right, we got bigger <laughs> problems over here. Because Let women do what they want with their body. They cater to their stop voters. Other problems. I just wore. I just. Well, this is a big issue. We need to demand that this get fixed. Yeah, right Call now. You, yeah, we got we to start calling this is, our this legislators. This is priority number one. We can't go outside without worrying that this is going to be the last day we go outside. And our kids are getting killed, bro. <laughs> our kids. Our fucking children. 
Not right. hey, listen, I promise you, not my kids. Cause something, something is will something will happen. I, I will. Whoo. I felt like that too. I was like, yo, somebody gotta die. Somebody, somebody your gotta family die. gotta die. Like I don't care. I like you may have killed yourself, but your mama's still alive, right? Yeah, man. your mom's at man. I don't know. I I'm not like that. I'm not like that. But I'm just saying. Cross my mind. Like if what if a nigga What's like if a nigga go to jail if a nigga go to jail oh if he if he if he surrenders and he goes to jail and shit like that I'm gonna make sure like I'm gonna make sure like I'm gonna, somehow some way. We gonna be we gonna be right next to you. Somehow, time. some way. No, no, no. I ain't gonna. Sh- ass. I'm just, just somehow, somehow, some, some way. way. Somehow, yeah. some way, nigga. Some fucking how, some way, man. They these babies lost their fucking life, bro. I have children that I go have, to elementary I have school. Kids. I'm going to my son's fucking graduation from kindergarten tomorrow. That's dope. Congratulations. Today, Hell actually, yeah. Thursday. Yeah, I'm going Thursday. Hell yeah. I'm going to my fucking. And I don't talk to them. I don't talk to them about this shit. The fuck my kids gonna do? Right. If, oh my god. Say like the. Do you do we have that conversation with our kids now though? Do we do we tell our kids For what? Hey, well, I want to scare them. At the same time, you want to prepare them, right? Prepare for what? If it for, happens there, for, that's what I'm saying for the potential. If, if it happens, because if it the happens to them, is, is like increasing. they don't know, like they don't fucking know. Do they? Like they don't know already, nigga. Nigga, there's a mass think, shooting every week in this country. Yeah, but when yeah. in a panic, you don't know. No, there's no preparation. Exactly. Plan. Just you like Mike I mean? Tyson said, nigga, you don't know what you'll do until you get hit in the fucking mouth. Right. Everybody got a fucking game plan until you get hit in the mouth. <laughs> until you don't. You can tell your kids all fucking day, niggas out, niggas do run up in schools and shoot your ass. Run away. No, I'm at, I'm at, I'm at more of like security a plan, like school. run, run. This. Yeah. Like there needs to be more. See, look, defund the police and start. Funding education and the security of education. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, how are those not the things we're fixing? That's crazy. Why are our teachers Protect our paid kids. Shit. Like, like, number one, come on. Yeah. And they out here making 30000 a year. They out here making $30,000 a year. They, they, they out here, they can't fucking, not everybody can take a goddamn bullet for these kids. Right. Uh, I seen this lady that she did uh, shield, like, a couple of her students. That, like, she lost her life, one of the teachers. <sighs> yeah, man. Like, I, I mean, I, I wish I knew her fucking name. So fucking sad, her, bro. Just prayer, thoughts, prayers, condolences, sincere thoughts, prayers, and condolences to uh, the families who lost their babies. Absolutely. And uh, lost their lives. lost their lives, yes. Uh, in the uh, Uvalde mass shooting, which was some bullshit. Um, moment of silence real quick before we move on. All right, man. Let's bring this show in. <laughs> now that we got that taken yeah, care got... of. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's get we into it. We had to say it, yeah, but we ain't. Uh, All right, yeah, man. Let's now, bring it to some funnies. Yeah, let's, let's, let's light the show up, man. <laughs> Shout out to the Highly Culture Click Tune in each and every motherfucking week. <laughs> Y'all could be listening to anything else in the world, but you chose to listen to us, and for that, Fucking weird. We apologize. Weird as fuck, huh? Fucking listen to this weird. shit. They so weird. Y'all ain't got no life listening to this motherfucking shit. Oh, God. On YouTube, Spotify. If yeah. you want Pandora listen to us, oh, man. you definitely Yo, shout out to y'all you. niggas that y'all even still got Pandora. Shout out to I don't y'all. know who's using it, but they using it. You but they, they using, using it. it. Hey, Pandora got hella users, but they, you know, not me. <laughs> shout out to y'all Pandora bracelet wearing that. I do want to warn y'all, man. This episode contains uh, strong language, uh, strong sexual conversations, and we high as fuck, man. Don't blame us. I'm high blame right the motherfucking internet, man. Shout out to the new listeners. Shout out to the non-listeners. Most importantly, man, shout out to y'all, man. Y'all the motherfucking go. Y'all the highest motherfucking podcast listeners in the world, man. Yeah. It's the best podcast to get high to, nigga. Yes. Hold on. Are we the highest podcast? What'd it say? What is your eight ball that you, that, what's your kid's toy that you bought? My sources say yes. It says yes? My sources say yes. Sources. Does it? Who is sources? sources? Oh, okay. Your sources. It's that eight ball. It's that, it's that kid, it's that toy eight ball that you just put back on the table. Yes. Hey, but, hey, but that shit, that shit low key. You, you, you I believe in that. I believe you, in that you, shit. You didn't see it. in the magic eight ball? No, I believe in, I believe in just, just signs. I believe in the signs. Any good okay. signs that I get in my life, I have to believe that there's a, a divine power that's. 
You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. giving you giving you that sign. Yeah, saw a sign. <laughs> yeah, I went to I and went to a psychic. Up your eyes? Huh? And it opened up your eyes. It does. It it opens up your eyes, but it doesn't give you it doesn't give you a, a path. You got to figure out that path. So so are you interested in trying shrooms then to unlo- <laughs> to unlock that uh <coughs> ayahuasca? Yes, yeah. shrooms. No, you really you willing to try ayahuasca over shrooms? Yeah, I, I taste. Hey, listen, I let, taste me know. The shroom. I, let, let me know. I tasted I want, the shroom I want... on this show. Remember? Yeah, yeah. You were gross. I never put. I I never I never eat that shit ever again. <laughs> Ever and I'm, ayahuasca I'm still, though, hey, uh, ayahuasca last, has to last long. Now that a, a couple of months have went by, I got a confession. I That's think true. that motherfucker might be moldy, bro. That's why that shit. Oh this up. wow, you gave me moldy uh, mushroom chocolate. I just, I just fucking don't hit, play. bitch. Oh, you bitch ass nigga. Oh man, Ooh, I learned a really interesting fact today. That, nigga. <laughs> I wanted to. I brought. I brought an interesting fact to the pod. What's good? What? I learned that since 2010. Method Man hasn't cursed in a rap. What? And it's true. He decided to stop cursing in his raps, and I never noticed. Method is just a really good fucking rapper. I but he cursed in his I movies? checked, though. I don't think I Murphy Lee ever been, he, has not been rap, he has not been cussing in his lyrics. The features might cuss, but he, 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 he'll Lee rap Lee his whole verse, ever. no cuss words. Since 2010. Yo, that's hard. That's crazy. You that's never, but you would never notice. To be a clean artist? To be yeah. like a clean rap artist? Listen, yeah. listen. And still be like, what Respectfully, the... what the fuck has he put out since 2010? <laughs> <laughs> that, you, that you run to, right? I don't get no fuck. Yo, shout that, out man. to motherfucking Method yeah. Man. But, uh, What's your old ass goatee? You got to check for Method Man? I check for Method Man. I check for Method Man. Method Man drop. I check for Method Man. Method Man is dope as fuck. His music, we left that shit with woo, tag. No, Ooh, I can't do that. No, I can't I do that can. to Method Man. I, I don't can't get do, no I can't fuck. Do that I can't do that to Method Man. Name uh, a song. Put, uh, uh, look, we gonna move on, all right? <laughs> uh, anyways, but that I was my feel fun like fact. Going down, yeah, I also feel like going down. And we fuck with you off power, though, yeah. That's crazy, though. That's crazy for a nigga to not curse. Yeah. Man. He done enough cursing in his first career. A, a caliber of rapper of him, like yeah. of, of his. And you got to think, he, like you said, like he has a, he has a, he has a fucking vast catalog. Yeah. The majority of my shit that you listen to that everybody loves me for is explicit. Yeah. And yeah, I'm I, I'm not I'm not I'm not the nigga that I used to be as but far they, as like they've always been lyrical with their words, so it's that's not. Yeah. Yeah, that nigga that nigga is lyrical. That nigga is lyrical to sit here and do a, like to to rap and not he's curse. Still, he's still still killing verse today. He'll go on a funk flex well, and, and tear it up. Yeah. But they gave but they gave this nigga Will Smith. Bullshit, cause he didn't curse. Right, he yeah, came. He came right. out. He right. came out. He came out saying like, I used to hate. I hate. I hated that. Uh, people gave me shit. Called him soft. Called him soft. He hated being called soft because called he had cursed his rhymes. He said, "No, my fucking grandma told me that I could fucking uh, I can rap and not curse, and, and you know, and not sound like a fucking dumbass, basically." Sound like corny. <laughs> yeah, but it is up sound like corny. Yeah. I don't care. Listen, sound like corny, but I still. Die. That's the only shit ever. I think also you hate being called soft if you're from Philly. You know what I mean? Like you're from. Right. I'm from. I'm from West Philadelphia. Right. West the Philadelphia, fuck? born and raised right. on the playgrounds, West. I didn't actually my play day. like that. Like I just right. chilling out back. I'm just a good fucking cool role model. Shoot some b ball outside of the school. You were soft of guys. though. Right? I'm up to no good. I'm a fucking I'm a role model. Trouble in my neighborhood. Someone can look I up to. I got in one little fight. I'm a mob guy scared. So you move with your auntie, your uncle in Bel I went to for a cab and went and said, "Near license plate said breakfast in the dust and beer." What? I can say this cab was red, but I thought, "Damn, forget it." Hold, hold the, the belly. belly. Get the <laughs> fuck <laughs> out of here. <laughs> 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 It was more than just him not cussing, though. Funky dog hit, bitch. It was that. It was it, it, him just not being able to be aggressive at all, ever, because we didn't believe you. You eye robot converse wearing motherfucker. Man, I fucking man, I fucking love that shit, man. I fucking love that's like that's I'm like one of the for that's that. one of the best. I think that's one of the best sitcom opening songs ever, nigga. I'm here Facts. for the, the Will Smith villain arc. I'm wondering if he gonna come out with an explicit. Oh, he's a now. villain. I went from coming out with an explicit album and being a villain in the movie. Oh, no. yes. Have Eminem ghostwrite for Will Smith. You will get Will Smith no, with Mike with Will made it. That's what I'm saying. It would be Metro booming. And Metro <laughs> booming, right. Right. Hey, yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I slapped Big him. Willie. <coughs> yeah, I slapped Big him. Big fucking Willie. Yeah. He been hanging yeah, out with Kanye. Willie. He'd probably get a Kanye Big beat. Big fucking Willie. Slap. You listen to a Kanye produce Will Smith album? 
No. That's got to be fire. Oh, God. That's fire, yes. nigga. I listen to a fucking Kanye gospel album. I can listen to a fucking Kanye yeah, Will Smith produced album. What? Anything Kanye yes. producing, I'm here for it. Yes. Because I'm just here. I'm just I here listen to it. Yeah. Yes. All right. Neither of them are cursing. So then we watch the throne. Right. That <laughs> you didn't know you needed. Nigga, Will watch, Smith and Kanye. Nigga, nigga that's watch the gates. No, watch, watch your hoes, nigga. Like, watch your motherfucking wives. <coughs> watch the home. Kanye said he could have bought the. Uh... Y'all say free Britney Grinder already? No, but say it right now. Oh, yeah, free Britney Grinder. Fuck about door. <laughs> Absolutely. Get her the fuck out of there! ASAP. Shit, Biden trying to trade her like a Pokemon card or shit. Man. She should have been about that motherfucker, man. Man, what's going on? She ain't no fucking Pokemon card. She in the jam, right? I know she tall and shit, but she be, she be, she be a Charizard. She, she definitely a Charizard. a Charizard. She the best one. We can't even talk. We can't We're not talking lie. disparagingly about her like that. I'm just saying, her wife, her wife, yeah, her wife is pleading with Biden to get fucking Brittany Grinder the fuck out of here because she's yeah. saying, hey, yo, he's the only nigga that can get her the fuck out of there. So hurry up. So wake this nigga up and God do damn, something. Do something, Biden. Do something. Don't you, don't you love us, Biden? It is raining shit outside. Fix it. Right. You ain't showing us no love. Right. We starting to think Biden don't fuck with nobody. Right. What do you have to say for yours? What do you have to say for yourself, fucking Joe? Right. We're the only outfit in the country that is immune. Imagine had the tobacco industry been immune. The prostitute being sued. Come on. All right, all right. Come on. All right, all right. <laughs> he said, "Come on," rather okay. than "Come on." Right. Come on. Right. Come on, man. Oh my God! I can't believe he said that. What the fuck were you talking about? Oh you was reading the teleprompter. I hope. Oh my God! A trial date has been set for Gunna and Young Thug. They are yeah. not expected to start until January 9th. Damn! They said hey, of 2023. Sit your ass down. Yeah, they try to get somebody. They try to I'm get good. the niggas to flip on each other. That's what it is. Yeah, I'm good on that too. I think we say. I think we said that. You know what I'm saying? Like they try yeah. to hold them niggas. Oh yeah, you trying you, to make they, sure they gonna sit you down for a year up to two, maybe. Yeah. But I mean, January is a while away. And yeah. to be honest, and to be honest, it's motherfucking May. Yeah, I know a lot. Of, I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people were saying like, "Damn, that's a long ass motherfucking time." But like, like I can say this niggas that's sitting on sitting like waiting for trial like a year, two years. Ain't even yeah. seen. Ain't even seen the judge. Ain't even seen the judge. Not, not, not his, yeah. Could you imagine? Like, you're just sitting in jail waiting to go to trial? But, bro, that's all jail is, nigga. You waiting. You're waiting until the cell opens up. And, and, yeah, uh, you wait, yeah, you waiting you wait to fucking go to the bathroom, nigga. You waiting to fucking go to recess, nigga. You fucking waiting, waiting. to go take a shit. You waiting to go shower. You waiting to go to the fucking free time or whatever. I just can't get over the fact that you got to shit in front of somebody else. You wait to get moved to? Yeah, that's wild. That's something I could just never do. You got to warn a nigga, too. We yeah. talked about hey, that. Hey, bro, I'm about to. We talked about that, yo. Oh, God. Every time it drop, you flush. Oh, God, yeah. nigga. That's that's crazy. Get it out of here. Get your right. shit out of here. Right. I, still do, I still do that at home right now. What? Drop it flush. Oh, yeah. Every, yeah, you got a courtesy flush. Drop Fuck flush. your toilet up. Fuck your toilet up, not uh, courtesy flush it. I just realized it helps it with the smell. It does help with the smell, but everybody, but, but we're not, but we're not. That's we're not. what women been doing this whole time. What dropping and flushing? Yeah, why not? I didn't understand that. I, I never understand like how how girls just, like take it. Take it no more than this shitty ass pussy, right? right. No shit they pussy. Clean, good. I mean, all, all, the, all the females I was been with was What's the quickest way clean? to get the smell out of here. Flush it. <laughs> That's crazy. Just flush it. Just get it out. Right. Of here. So they about to sit for a minute, man, and they using their fucking lyrics too. Oh, I think we talked about this, oh man. Yeah. Listen, God. listen to this prosecutor, bro. Listen to this fucking prosecutor. How you read this shit off to the judge? Mr. Kitchens is not just an associate of YSL. He is actually in a command structure. He is one of the yeah. uh, the bosses. Now he is not the boss. Uh, our belief and our evidence will post that Mr. Williams is the boss uh, of YSL. But Mr. Kitchens is in a command position, Judge. So not only is he involved in crimes in another county, he's in actually involved with the, the leader of YSL. Judge, he is in videos basically stating that uh, they have 10 hundred round choppers talking about weapons, talking about <laughs> messing with them, you're oh, going to die. What? Um, 
they have a. I, I actually enjoyed. I this remember song. that song. That was a good song. Uh, it was a video. Oh, I enjoyed this one. 12, 18, I actually 20, enjoyed this one. Where uh, they said, "Just screw it. Uh, take it to trial." I believe they even have a choice word in that one. <laughs> the judge. Judge. He is. What? A. Yeah, he. Uh... <laughs> You know how much shit people say on record? You Doesn't sound on, good, on nigga. albums, like... Well, yeah, uh, I know, but it's just when you're going to court and they got a song where you talk about tell the judge this. Lyrics from Slitty were in... Uh, well, they told him. <laughs> I, I killed his man in front of his mama like, look, like fuck little bro, his sister and his cousin. I shoot out and kill him, not leaving a trace. <laughs> he, they use the songs like Le Ski. Yeah, we did a whole challenge to that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. god, bro. That yeah. oh, but I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. Ski, Slatty, and Take It to Trial. Those are some hard motherfucking uh songs. I think uh I think uh Slatty was produced by 808 Mafia, so that shit that's that's a motherfucking slapper. But uh yeah, they was out here uh <laughs> in reality, yeah, these niggas should go really slap in court too. That shit go slap in court. Have you seen the memes? Have you yeah. seen the memes where niggas, uh, uh, where niggas got the, uh, they got the uh, jewelry green screen? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, where they sit right there, they like, as soon as the motherf- as soon as the motherfucking prosecutor turn on gunner and shit, niggas just start, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, fuck, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta chill out, man. Yo, if they play ski in court, up, if they play ski in court they while they're to. there, they ski. gotta do it on the stand. I mean, you're already, already risking your life. You might as oh, well. Oh God, yeah, yeah. You ain't no way you ain't gonna be in that motherfucker. What? I ain't gonna lie, that shit, that shit is. Hard though. That's crazy though, man. Yeah, in reality, like guys. I said, these niggas is bragging about real fucking crimes. They also <laughs> caught twenty three niggas up in up in the Bronx. They caught a uh, a total of twenty three alleged Bronx gang members busted after bragging in drill rap songs about shooting at they ops. You guys, this is. I don't believe they did it. But they, I thought in New York they got they got where you couldn't use lyrics. I don't believe they did it. They're all innocent. They got dude. these niggas. They got these niggas. If they was able to get them on the Rico. Bronx drill rapper D-Thang uh, and 22 others got indicted on 65 counts of conspiracy to commit murder, gun possession, and attempted murder. Others arrested are charged includes T-Dot, Bando, Lottie, and more. So they locked up the entire drill scene in fucking uh, New York. What is what is a D-Thang? That's, that's, that's such a pause. <laughs> that's, that nigga no. thing. that's such a pause worthy day. I did. That shit, that shit does. Who you about to cuff? I'm about to cuff D-Thang up right now. Whoa. <laughs> Why is it spicy? <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, wild. Man. You, uh, oh, fucking that is wild. Man. Yeah, they locked they locking the whole fucking rap game up. The whole rap game up. They just yeah. going to a studio now and they be like, "Who got a gun?" Everybody going to jail. You it, come with us. It ain't even fucking. Not even that. They go at, if you they, got a little in your name or you drink lean, you're going to fucking prison. Listen, yes, they are anticipating these albums more than we are. Nigga, they said, "Oh, I can't wait for the new shit to drop." Right. <laughs> Look at all these charges I'm about to get. Oh my god. What nigga. do you mean? God, they be way, they be they be playing this shit out their music. Yeah, but it's not it's not looking that good. That shit is man. corny. They come from everybody. They on rap genius looking at the lyrics. Right. Listening to it. Right. I really lit this Taking shit. Taking a quarter. Oh, over you it. really lit this These shit. These niggas are saying actual motherfucking names of victims. They like, well, god no, damn. You're an idiot. Goofball. If you, if you, yo. Goofball. Yo, rapping your ops name that you killed. Don't do that. Corny ass nigga. Why would you telling yourself? Right. On, a, on, 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 on America's stage at that. But, but that was, the, I remember that was the whole, that was the whole thing. Like a lot of these rappers were bitch ass niggas that was coming into the game. We was coming to, coming to find out a lot of these niggas was not who they said they was. Now you got, now you got niggas out here really, that really that's was. really about that motherfucking life, nigga. I mean, he was wearing, he wore a dress, so obviously he didn't give a fuck. Who? Thugga thugga. Look at ass. Yeah. 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 That, don't mean, that don't mean that they can't have your ass whack, nigga. That nigga, that's how you talk. Pause. Okay, well, you can't have your both ass whack, nigga. That nigga talk fast. He talk fast. fast and just and like, just that nigga just lazy. funny to me. That nigga he's, just funny to me, lazy man. He's lazy when he talks. That talk. shit funny to me, man. What else? They're going to call Rich Homie Kwan in another case so they can talk to him. Bring him to the stand to t- testify. So can you please tell us what was the lifestyle about? Is it my lifestyle? My lifestyle. lifestyle. Ask him about it. You don't thug kind of. Yeah, man. Well, we'll see. Free that, He's man, the, yeah, too. Man, yeah, 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 free know. YSL. Yeah, man. The we'll free see. Gunner. January you know, 9th. Good luck. What else are we talking about, though? Um, 
Let's keep up with Kanye. We got some Kanye news. It's been quiet for Kanye for a little while. You see the big ass boots that nigga had all the other day? Oh my God. I keep seeing people Photoshop them bigger. Right. Mad for He was just in a boot. My hero academia ass nigga. Go ahead. <laughs> um, but it looks like we're getting a uh, we're getting True Love from Donda 2, which is also from XXX Tentacion's uh, uh, upcoming album. <laughs> Um, XXX Tentacion, that's his name. Uh, so they're releasing True Love this Friday. So if you heard any of Down to Two, it was the first song on there. So pretty good song. Um, and I guess uh, that's pretty XX- good song. Yeah, it's a pretty good song. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's like, you might be it's a right. chip. It's pretty good. Pretty. It's pretty. I like good. it. I like it. Yeah, it was all right. Been online, chatted with uh, all day. I think that it's on uh, his, uh, XXX. Tentacion's album as well. Uh, I think it's Look At Me, the album is the name of his. So it sounds like we might be getting a finished Donda 2 soon. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on fucking Donda 2 to come uh, to to uh, all platforms, especially Apple Music. I'm trying to listen to that shit for real. Oh, yeah, just wait till it's finished for sure, though. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'll wait till it's finished. Because the version that's that exists is not. That's what I'm saying. I know. I know it's trash. Ain't nobody been talking about that stem player shit. Lately, have you heard anything about it? About that no. album? No. It's no. Been quiet for that we wait. We wait on the but real shit. We've been working come... on it. They they yeah. have uh like like little snippets of finished songs being finished have come out. Like um, the record that he has with Migos, he added Fabio to that record uh, on that album. That record was basically done anyway. It's just missing Kanye vocals as always. I saw he. I saw he was. Uh, I saw he was uh, chilling with that nigga Offset too. Oh yeah. So uh, I'm surprised they're friends. Hey, if that's the response to Hotel Lobby, Lee. Oh, a Kanye and Offset record? Oh, I'm here for that. Dude, that, that. that song of the year, nigga. You see what he did for fucking Five Year Four that uh, New York with him and uh, Alicia Keys? Mm-hmm. Did that age well? I think that I don't think... no, no. He was trying to make the, said, no. That... <laughs> he was trying to make the new version of uh, the New York record that Jay Z and uh, State of uh, Empire State of Mind. No. He was trying to do that again. He said he was supposed to put Hove on that record. And then he didn't like, want to wait. For, he didn't want to wait for Hove to do it, so he just did a verse. He's like, I'm it's done like, doing yeah. New York records, kid. So yeah, uh, it looks like he's also redesigning McDonald's packaging. Uh, not permanently, but it just seems like maybe for a while he shared a. It looks see through picture. Like it was a like, a, like a kind of a see throughish paper. It was square. It was very like I don't know weird kind. Of, I thought it was a sandwich, and there was a burger. Kind it of looks. Like a square. It looks dis- Disturbing. It looked like a Minecraft burger. No, it, it looks disturbing. It almost looks like you're not in the real world. It's like, what is this shit? What, what the metaverse is going but on? But that is that. But that that's is Kanye. why you. But that's Kanye. It's a make metaverse. Next level shit. It's like next level. Like when I look at that, it's all. Like, it's almost like I'm looking at it from the viewpoint of a fucking cyborg or something. He's just good at everything. Zetus Lapidus type shit. Honestly, like he's a he- great visionary. Like he hit like everything he does. There's a version of it you like, yeah. especially especially if it has anything to do with like design, yeah. fashion, yeah. art. And he's people, an artist. And people really doubted him on the fashion shit. Bigger. Now he's out here he's wearing out big here. ass, boots. big ass motherfucking boots that you want. Oh, I don't want those boots. Absolutely, not. I don't think nobody wants those boots. But we certain people. There do. are plenty of people who have he been had, doing it. He literally yeah. had the SpongeBob yeah. boots. You seen him? Uh, him in the I think it's the head of ball man. Damn, he, where he did. had like the face mask. SpongeBob boots. Yeah, you see, I think it was a picture of him uh, with the head of uh, ball man. Uh, like the dude was like dressed like a gimp. And like the mask on, you see that? Oh, shirt? that's crazy. This nigga Weird. dressed like a sex slave. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That nigga wild for that. Not shit. Kanye, but the I the know yeah. wild for that shit. People are doing. Oh, I Wild love when they push the envelope. Shit. Nah. Chunk me, spank me, pull my hair. Whoa. Oh, get the right. fuck out of here, nigga. So that's uh, that's keeping up with Kanye. Why are you gay? Who <laughs> says I'm gay? You are gay. <laughs> he said you are gay. Why he saying like that? gay, this? bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But I'm, I'm here. I'm here for. I'm here for. I'm here for uh, XXX uh, to Zion, uh record too. That come yeah. out this Friday, right? Yeah, it comes out this Friday. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm here for that shit though. That record's good. Yeah, because low key, I became a fan of his music and you know, and his music like after he. That was the passed. only finished track that he put out on the album. That one hit. That that one track with him and Trippy Red. I ain't gonna lie. That's like that's like one of the hardest shit. Baby, I need you in my life. In my life. We're a big X fan, huh? Should be red. 
That's where you heard it. Baby, from. don't be switching sides. Switching sides. <laughs> I hate Trippy Red. <laughs> Look me in my eyes. No, in I mean my like eyes. I actually like Trippy Red. But... <laughs> <clears throat> Bitch, I'm high. Bitch, I'm high. What song is that? I don't know. I just know X on it. I go lie, that beat hard too. You listen to that shit every morning? No. <laughs> Only when I, I uh, don't think you listen to it every morning. I was. <laughs> that's his wake up record? You think that's how he likes yeah. to wake up every day? Yeah. Right. There are certain songs that I listen to every day. Every day? Yeah. You wake up, that's the first song you I listen play. to Cheese and Dope probably every day. Cheese, what? I got cheese dope, dope as a bunch of fucking coke. Yep. I don't remember what the fuck that nigga said. <laughs> Project Pata. Right, I listen to Project Pat. First thing I wake up, listen Water to. Water bird, what's the word? Right. Well, you I listen dog, to, uh, it's low. I listen, I listen to fucking First Take and all that shit every fucking day. That's the first thing I wake up and uh, watch. What else are we talking to? What are we talking about, though? Uh, Remember a little while back we talked about Pusha T saying he was banned from Canada because of Drake? Really? Uh, Drake responded. What do you say? Uh, his friend Chubbs posted saying they don't get people banned. And Drake commented and said, come on over. Right. They can say, we don't ban niggas. Come we on walk, over, we nigga. Them, we walk them with open arms yeah. and hands and feet, nigga. Right. right. When you get over here. Yeah, when you get over here, that's a, different, that's a different story. Come on over, We pal. ain't got no right. school shootings. We got come fi- come find mass out. stompings. Right. Kidnap that nigga. That nigga end up in motherfucking Nova Scotia. He said some mass fucking weird. stompings. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> A mass stomping. Just mass stomping. That's their, their crime. Right. And all of them niggas wear boots because they don't do that but snow out there fucking Toronto. Hey, bloke. They don't talk like that. That's not Canada. That's <laughs> They're French. Okay. I think they, I think they, they, what they, French. they, they, they sound, they sound like they, that patois, <laughs> whatever, like oh, that Canadian, that Canadian, patois. that talk, that, yeah, uh, oh, they, do tigs, that. they say tigs and shit tigs. like that. Tigs. Yeah. Corny oh, ass fucking, fucking cheese me, dog. You fucking cheese me. Corny ass nigga. <laughs> Yeah, fuck them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I can see Drake. I can see Drake doing some petty ass shit because Drake is Drake. One of the biggest like, oh, you diss me, all right, nigga. I will make sure your and, ass can't even get into this country. Down. Whole ass, nigga. I stop uh, your money somehow, yeah. some way. But I also think that's partially due to when Pusha T was last in Toronto and that kid got jumped when he ran on stage to try and attack Pusha. I mean, should have ran a stupid ass on stage though. Yeah, but this is, and they were saying that it was sent by Drake. <laughs> Or the OVO crew sent the kid over there. So you didn't. I, you didn't. Hey, you, you didn't. That's you probably didn't why that he's dude. banned from the country. So you came to our country. Oh, dude, that's a bitch ass shit. You sent. You over. sent your man's over here to. You sent your man's over here to attack me. And right. He got his motherfucking ass beat up. Yeah. And, and then you that's banned your fault. Right. But you're y'all should be banned from motherfucking Toronto. Y'all niggas can't. Y'all can't get right. Yeah. You know what that means? You're not that guy. Not you're, not that, you're, you're not that. You're not that motherfucking guy. guy. Trust me, you're not that guy. You're not that fucking guy. You can't even send competent motherfuckers to uh, get me up out of here. I just want them to up. start making diss tracks again. I'm undefeated in your country, nigga. I need another Drake diss track. So, oh no, man! After that, after that last, after that last, uh, reignite it. Fuck it. Just do it. I still think push. You guys are already push beefing publicly, so you might as well just do it. Push got the edge though. I think Push got the edge. Yeah. Cause I think because because uh, Drake 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 low key like 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 respectfully he's been exposed as far as like he's not that he's not that guy when it comes to like true dissing motherfuckers. He had he ain't got no ethers. Nah, he the only back, nigga he, the he only nigga on he was something. able to Meek. the only nigga he was able to ether was fucking Meek Mill. And Meek was taking loss. Now don't long. get me wrong though, the Drake response was, was better. Okay. Then Pusha T's response. Pusha T's response, his song wasn't actually that good. It was just the information that came out of it. But and that's, that's why he won. Matter. But that, yeah, it don't matter. But Drake's diss track was arguably uh, the better song. Hell like, just, no. What? That bar was better just than because, Just because I could bop to this Drake shit don't mean it was as, effect, as effective as the fucking Pusha T record. Yeah, I agree. Nigga, I brought no, up no, personal the shit. Of, the, I brought up personal yes. shit. And you made a club record, nigga. No, I went right at your fucking neck, nigga. You didn't make a club record on that, but it was still a good but you can you can play, but you can play Drake <coughs> shit up in the club. You can play Pusha shit in the club. But then again, think about that: is he made a he made a club record and a diss track? Like, that's saying something, Loki. Yeah, but that nigga Push made a diss track. I went at you. Oh yeah, his, I yeah. went at. Yeah, he won. No, I like he the way, definitely I liked won the way you said it. It said it affected me. In my more, in my opinion, sure. yes, Pusha T won that exchange. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, as far as songs go, like if I'll go back and listen to that song before I go back and listen to Pusha T diss track. Yeah, because it's yeah because uh because Drake made it seem like because Drake made a record like if the diss don't hit, then the record is gonna hit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like the diss might be lackluster, but hey, it's a bop. It's I a thought, bop. I it's, thought he came with the bar. He really came with the bars. Pusha T just came with 
More ammo. Fact, he just came with a fact that nobody was prepared for uh, him right. to expose. Yeah, army right. tank. Yeah, the whole right. arsenal. You got a kid, you whole ass nigga. They're like, what? You got right. a kid. You are hiding a son. Okay. <laughs> you hiding a son, you, you fucking dead beat. You from dead beat ass. You dead beat ass, nigga. And then Drake proceeded to talk about <laughs> it for a whole album after. It was light skin versus <laughs> it was basically light skin versus dark skin, but a low key. It was terrible, yeah. Look at it. Look at look at these light skinned niggas act. <laughs> they hide their kids and shit. <laughs> they hide their fathers. Damn. Well, well, I wonder if Pusha T will accept his invite. <laughs> uh, Rick Ross has left Epic Records. True. Um, so why are we still on your fucking topic? Uh, uh, right, right. What the fuck we talking about? I don't, I don't know why you think it's still going. What's going? What's what you got? Uh, Six hundred breezy running in the uh, Charleston uh, white. Yeah, I saw that shit, nigga. I they saw got, that they shit. Got pretty spicy, real quick. We meant to, I meant to talk about that shit. I meant to talk about that shit last week. Yeah. I meant to talk about that shit last week because that shit was uh, that shit was interesting because he that looked, nigga Charleston White. He had something to say about King Von. He called King Von a demon. Yeah, and when he, and you know, say when he got shot, he said that was an act of God, which that's a wild shit to say. And Charleston White is probably the most polarizing nigga. I've ever listened to or watched on the internet, bro. He does not bite. He's not bite his tongue, nor does he give a fuck about who or what he talking about, nigga. Or who he, he a fan? Nothing. Right, right. He be going at these fucking rappers about how they, you know, what I'm saying they be out here like glorifying killing this shit, mm -hmm. glorifying this street shit, and then when some real shit happens to these niggas, you know, what I'm saying, you know, he got motherfuckers out here making t-shirts and 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 glorifying their deaths and shit like right. that. It's like why for what? You know what I'm saying? What's that doing for our community? Is what he yeah. Says. Yeah, <clears throat> but that nigga do be saying some wild shit. Like, that nigga went viral talking about raping white women. Like, that nigga, like, that nigga Trost the White. If y'all know who Trost the White is, hold on. Let me play something. Let me play some. Hold on. Let me see what this nigga said. Well, let me get it to, uh, let me get it to, uh, let me, well, hold on. Where the fuck is this shit at? Jesus. Hold on. Where is it at? Where is it at? Nigga, don't do the fucking music. Shut your gas up. Let me see. Like this nigga talked about quit. He talked about uh suing every fucking job he got. He said I he said I, was, I worked at nine to five. Or will you? Yeah. Or do you work? Funniest nigga on the internet though. I lot. sue every job I get. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What I do, I go on the job. Yeah, yeah. I've sued Singular before AT and T. I got forty thousand dollars out of them in two thousand six, July six, oh, oh, two thousand six. Oh, oh. Get that for bread. Race discrimination and sexual harassment. Quid quo pro sexual harassment. Just niggas cracking jokes on the job. Right. So what I did, I went and learned employ employment rights. I, my last two jobs, I got ten thousand out of that one through OSHA and got another ten thousand dollars through, through OSHA. So what I do, I go find a job because I know they got niggas go be violating safety violations. So I'm going to go complain about safety violations. I know some bitch ass supervisor going to get mad about me complaining and start retaliating against me. Then I'm going to make a call <laughs> to OSHA and say, hey, they unsafe over here. And then I'm going to let them know, yeah, I'm the one called OSHA. And they go fuck with me. And then I'm going to make them pay me $10,000 for retaliation. I get them every time. I get him every guy. He a random ass motherfucker. Uh, man, I work for a gun distribution company. I got they motherfucking ass. Yeah, I'm a bad motherfucker with suing jobs. So, so you go in there knowing? Oh, you're about to yeah, get a job. I, I get man. If motherfucker know I'm going to go get a job, they already know he he. Just, I'm the slip and fall nigga. I'm talking about I'm. I got a Whoa. one hundred percent success rate in suing every job I done work for. Whoa, that nigga said I'm the slip and fall nigga. What? I'm the slip you, and fall you know, that's nigga. That's premeditated. He, he should have to pay half that shit back Slipping to talk to that. But he be saying some wild ass shit. But, but back, on, shit. back on subject. So uh, so I guess uh, 600 Breezy pulled up pulled on up that on nigga. Him, was like, hey, what, we, what, what, what the fuck he was talking about? Yeah, chill out on that, you know, that little dissing fucking Vaughn and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said real, he said real quick, I, I'm lying. I'm a, I'm a liar. Real yeah. quick. But we saw the longer version of it. And I know a lot of people, a lot of people was going off of the, you know what I'm saying, like little 15 second clip where it was like, you know what I'm saying, 600 Breezy said, showing said, up. Yeah, yeah. He was all like, I don't give a fuck about none no of that fucks. shit, nigga. Yeah. He didn't give no fucks. Charleston White didn't give no fucks. Like, Charleston White, I don't, I don't, I don't think he backed down at all. I don't I would think say he got he checked. Down. I don't think he got checked. I'm just saying what he, what he, he went off of. He 600 did. Breezy pulled up, but Charleston White didn't yeah, back down. Yeah, they had a whole conversation. Yeah, they, had, yeah, they basically had a whole fucking he conversation. He was yelling and shit. He never told him to shut up, no shit like that. He never, like, Say, oh yeah, don't say that I shit no more. Or... We get them up. Huh, 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 huh. We get them up. Yeah, yeah. We get them up. Now, now, now. The is about revolution. The Buddha is about revolution, nigga. We studied Adam Hoover, nigga. We studied Adam Hoover. Go get the 
Like these niggas up in a barber shop. Anything that hurts you, anything that hurts you, crimp, blood, Jesus, anything that hurts you, white folks. That nigga be talking this shit. For us, by us, with us, and of us, my nigga, you against that, I'm against you. So look, and I want to die behind. I don't want to understand. 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 Yeah, you entertain him, bro. Yeah, you entertain him, bro. Yeah, but hey, but I don't, I don't think he backed down at all. He basically told that he told that nigga that he he kept that same fucking energy. In my opinion. Yeah. So what constitutes uh, a check then? They, they has to back down for to say I, I still I still I still pressed you about it. Only check he was looking for is he was hoping six hundred bricks was going to slap the shit out of him that way he could sue him for him, a I check. Pressed, I pressed him about it to see what he had to say. About pressed it. and checked is two different things. I can see being pressed, but as far as like being checked, that means a motherfucker got you in, got you cowardly. You cowered to this motherfucker. You said all that shit. You was talking, and then when a nigga pulled up on your ass, you cowered. So if if that nigga yeah, if that nigga did. Charleston White was if that nigga Charleston White was like <laughs> oh my god okay I'm sorry my my bad bro my bad my bad bro, bro even, please like like don't 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 hurt me like that type of shit not even not even coward not ass. even got, coward just shut up yeah if he got your ass up in there shivering in your mother shivering like a fucking stripper huh? and shit shaking in your boots anybody can press the definition then yeah he didn't check him yeah he didn't check him I don't think he really checked him. No. But you know, no, I didn't, I didn't feel like it was no check for reals. But that nigga Charles White said, "Nigga, I would have called the cops on that motherfucker. I was about this close." Yeah. See the whole video uh, of the little nigga checking me. Uh, I ain't gonna <laughs> say he ain't check me. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna say the young nigga ain't check me. The little nigga stand by six two. Uh, nigga probably can be a motherfucker me uh, defensive end, well, nigga, for one of them uh, NFL football team, nigga. So what y'all think? I'm going to fight that young nigga. That nigga 20 years, something younger than me. Yeah, but one thing I know about the young nigga, he didn't want to fight with all them chains around his neck, but he was upset. He was very, very angry, and a nigga threatened me. Yeah, he yeah, don't know. I started calling the police on him right then and there on this motherfucker. <laughs> that nigga tell me, next time I see you outside this circle, what it'll right. do to me. Nigga, I'm damn near senior citizen level, and I'm disabled. You don't know that, but I am. I started to go put the police on him, motherfucker. Hey, officer, listen. You see that man in that suit over there? He and you know why you can't hate this man? Because he did, all he does is he's a law-abiding citizen. Right. And he just speaking, he, and he just speaking his, his truth. His truth. But he be saying some wild he, he, shit. He, he do be saying some wild shit when his opinion comes out. But but have to to time, go as far as say I I I, I rape white women because they rape my motherfucking people. Like that's that's some wild shit to yeah, say on the internet. Can't, we can't do that. I I would no, I would I, never I, say I some wild even, shit like that. that. I didn't hear no, him say that shit before. That's funny. It's a terrible thing. I mean to that's say. not funny, but that's. I crazy. have audio, but I'm not even gonna play that shit. No, that no, nigga really did. He really had. Ass. He really had said that shit. But he does be keeping that shit real when it comes to like these rappers and all that shit. Like he do be having some real shit to say. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on. This is what he said about the uh, mass shooter. See, in, uh, this Buffalo. what get me, my nigga. You ain't seen a rapper say nothing about that white boy. That that 18 year old white boy shot them 10 black people. Let that had have been 10 King Vaughns. They'll be tearing up Buffalo. Let mm. that had have been 10 George Floyds. They'll be tearing up Buffalo. But them was 10 innocent, <coughs> older people. Older people that an 18-year-old white boy drove four hours away mm. to intentionally go kill black people with the word Igor wrote on his gun. Ain't yeah. no rapper mad about nothing. Ain't nobody saying, what's his mama's address? Ain't nobody trying to find out where his cousin and them live. Nobody, homie. Let that be. No, no, man. So this what, that's what get me about these niggas. They so gang gang and so gangster. So we got 18-year-old niggas just killing. He is saying something. Bro. Look what they 18-year-old people killing for. They race. Our 18-year-old niggas just killing our own for nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they, they 18-year-old way stronger than ours. Because they 18 year olds will come over here and kill 10 hours. We'll kill 12 hours and won't kill none of theirs. Mm. So, this is what I'm gonna say. We watch 10 black people die every weekend in Chicago. So, why y'all playing like y'all mad about what this white boy did? Lions already know what to do when they see gazelles. That nigga. I ain't gonna lie. He, he, was, he was speaking some facts there. I ain't gonna lie. Because. No, he was talking that shit. Because, yeah, I think that. I think that uh, I think that the focus and, you know, the media coverage on these type of shit really needs to be amplified. You know what I'm saying? We need to we need to figure out how to fucking 
<clears throat> stop this shit and stop fucking glorifying it. Yeah, right. Right. And looking past it. Looking at all this other shit. Like, but oh. that nigga Charleston White is funny as fuck, though. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga, that nigga is hilarious. That nigga say he almost senior citizen. I think like he, he got hands, though. I think he be, he be speaking, he be talking this shit, though. He ain't though. no fucking hands. He gonna pop somebody with his random ass. No, but you said, have, has anybody been checked? I ain't never, I ain't never been, I ain't never been no. checked to where a nigga had, like, I got coward to a nigga. Absolutely fucking not. I've been, appro- I've been approached by, by, by niggas before, but I've never been, I've never been checked. I was like 11 or 12. That was the last time I ever been checked. You Somebody check? checked you at 12? Yeah. Slap me some more shit. Oh, what? <clears throat> I'm good. To, to that to that day, I, I fuck with dude like he he, he what you what, what? I, that's no that's 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 the that's it's, it's a friend it was it was like some uh, younger shit. <laughs> and you ain't never you ain't never got you never got no retribution you never got no payback on that shit no get back. No, I I, no, I wasn't it wasn't really no. Oh fuck too. all that nigga. No, it wasn't no it wasn't no get back. I have like, to that's what no, made me a savage sword. was that that moment. Ain't no ain't no nigga ever. ever. He ain't never put his hands on me. No one's ever touched. No, I don't he, give he, fuck. He said to apologize. But no, no one's ever, no, no one's ever. No, you need to hit him back. Call that nigga, man. Yeah, you gotta call him. Hey, yo, call that nigga, man. I was like 11. Call, I don't give a fuck. You say you cool with that nigga now still. I need, yeah. I need, call I need, that, I need I, to hit you plus interest. We gotta, we, gotta, yo, we, gotta, we gotta stop that nigga the fuck out. We gotta stop that nigga out. Like, you, need to, you need to just go and just punch that nigga in the face. Just one time? Just one time. Just punch that nigga in the face. And he'll be like, what the fuck you do that for? Like that, one, that, that one time, you know. Remember when you? He probably don't even remember. That's what I'm remember saying. When you punked me when I was 11, right? Fuck you, right? Right? What? No, right. That's yeah, corny as fuck. What? That's corny as fuck. That's active shooter energy, right? You still hold on grudges from? Fucking- I hold on to fucking grudges like that. I don't fucking befriend them. Befriend them. Fuck! I look like. What are you talking about? Yeah, you ruined my childhood. I mean, I, I'm no, a I, savage I, because of you. Yeah. You're not wrong there. No, ain't no, no, no. Yeah, fuck not, all you're, you're that. Not, you're not wrong there. Fuck all of that. Yeah, you're not wrong there. I'm not, no. Yeah. Ain't no nigga, ain't no nigga hitting me and getting away with that shit. I don't give a fuck how many decades later it is. We don't, I don't play those fucking games, Re- nigga. Revenge ain't got no expiration date, huh? Revenge ain't got no motherfucking expiration on it, nigga. Ever. Ever, nigga. You, so, ever. You, you if, I ever you, if I ever see any of the niggas that bullied me to this day, nigga, it's probably it's probably on site. On site. Or my mama, nigga, it's on site. Cause I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not being cool about that shit. Yeah. What? The fuck I wanna be cool about. I'm not gonna be cool about it, but when nigga, you're I'll be like, I'm like, yeah, nigga, maybe that shit you did, maybe that shit you did back in motherfucking school, bitch ass nigga. Slap. Chris slap. fucking Chris Rock slap. Just like that. Slap the ass like motherfucking Will Smith. You know you're getting in a fight, right? Give a fuck, nigga. I'm just saying. I got hands. I know what I'm doing. I'm just saying. What? I what I'm doing. You know what the fuck I'm doing, nigga? It's an official you, invite you, to you, anybody you, out there who wants to see Lee. Right. Any nigga, any 20, nigga. 24 ever years later, you going to get a fight over that? Hey. That's what it is. They don't give a fuck. I ain't getting no fuck fucking fight over, over that. You're fucking crazy. crazy. I ain't no bitch. <laughs> also, now every time I see your ass, oh, I got all oh, shaking your hands and shit. What if I ever told my kids? My kids be like, hey, daddy, who's that? Oh, just some nigga who used to slap me around when I was young. And hey, you it, ain't do shit? It did happen multiple times. Dad, you didn't do shit? No, we, we got into it before. Nigga, it you was a bitch, nigga. It ain't like he was stuffing my head into a locker. Pockets? Huh? Did he tap your pocket? No, I wouldn't like that. Yeah, nigga, I can no, hear I Twan like now. If I ever told Twan that I befriended a nigga that used to slap me around, you know what Twan would say to me? Why are you gay? <laughs> 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 You are gay. <laughs> nigga, my kids will not let me down. They will, they will, they will, they will, they will fucking, they will disrespect me, bro. Why, why would you tell them that? They disrespect me the fuck out of me. Because, <laughs> nigga. Why would you tell them that? Because there's going to be a time where your kids are going to fuck around and get pressed and you're going to have to fucking try to relate to him. Yeah, son, I know what it's like to be bitch, bitched around and shit. <laughs> I know what it's like for a nigga to... To bitch you, bitch you out in front yeah, of everybody. You get yeah, bit, yeah. you got bitched out. Yeah, you, you got to stick up next time. Yeah, like, you, you he gave you a, like... he gave you a fucking wedgie. <laughs> it's twenty thirty six. They giving wedgies still. You, he gave you a swirly. Holy shit! They stuck your fucking head in a in a toilet and flushed it. Where did they even find a pay for that? Swirly is that is insane. That's that's attempted murder. You that's yeah. like a drowning. That's, that's like it. you're drowning a nigga. 
when you're doing a swirly. Oh, he damn. I never thought about you that. You drowned in a nigga. Just, they because, be, they just be, because you were desensitized to fucking that what? shit. What? Maybe just potentially ripping their hair out of their head from the suction of the toilet. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> No, but you're still getting your head stuck yeah. in a fucking toilet. Like you gotta be a you gotta be a bitch ass, hated yeah. ass little nigga for a for, 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 for a bunch of niggas to hold you up and like swirl your you. ass. This is a no, it, it was just yeah. like one bully though, right? Remember? Yeah. That's some bully ass shit. No, a bully can't no fucking bully hold you up like that's a grown ass man. Yeah, there we, should be there should not three, be one single people. man holding you nah, up. It's, in, two, it's, it's two or three people. Gotta it's gotta be, be two or three people weak. picking you up. It's gotta be two. Sticking at dunking you and flushing the toilet. This is a multiple man operation. You, just, oh. you as a group are bullying somebody. Yeah. It's you, a gang of bullies. And you know, kid kid bathroom stalls is the worst, nigga. Nigga, I remember back in school, niggas used to shit in the urinals. I couldn't even have There's a peaceful. There's boogers all side. I, I couldn't even have a peaceful shit. piss. About back in school, people were still doing that in adult bathrooms. How you shit in a urinal? You have to have no fucking That's got to be the most... It's either or a society. It's either a purposeful act, like you do this shit and it's weird, or, or mental health, or you're in an emergency shit situation. No! All the stalls are taken, and it's either this or shit your pants. You might be shitting in that urinal. Stop it. Get some help. That's just. No. N- n- but I assume it's the first. The I don't know anybody. There's just... always like six toilets in, in school. They're not taken. No fuck away. No way. Did y'all see uh, Walmart? Uh, they uh, they removed that uh, Juneteenth ice cream yeah, following what that are you guys doing? hilarious you fucking backlash. Listen, what in the Cool Runnings colors was going on there? They tried to turn Juneteenth into fucking Black Cinco de Mayo. They That's what the fuck happened, nigga. It. They tried to trademark Great Value Juneteenth. People say where they were they were uh, they were bad because it was a uh, white owner from Great Value. I guess. Yeah. yeah, I don't even eat fucking ice cream, let alone Great. Value? Listen, a question what kind though. Of ice cream was Had we it? found out it was a black owner, would you be mad? Or would you be mad? Uh, yes, nigga. And y'all should go and buy Cream Malicious. It's the black owned ice cream that Walmart fucking stole and rebranded it. Oh shit! The flavor is red velvet and fucking cheesecake, just like the one the Great Value one they got. Oh, you, you motherfuckers! Yeah, nigga. Put oh, you ass slick motherfucker! I'm going to Target put that all next week. In the dirt. I tell you what. I'll be back. Though. Smoking on Pookie Low tonight. But I go lie. That shit was like that was like that was some tone deaf shit. But I wasn't really that. I am curious. What was the flavor though? Uh, red velvet and cheesecake. Oh, that's what. It was. Okay, okay. That's okay. what it was. They uh they uh they stole it. I guess. What? A, uh, but I wasn't. I wasn't too upset about it. I think I would have been more upset if like it was fried chicken flavored, made with real vegetable oil. Boy. Or if it was like vanilla, like you open up this black, <laughs> you open up this uh this jewel teeth card yeah. of ice cream. Uh, <laughs> it's vanilla ice cream. No, it's grape soda. Flavor. Gotcha, nigga. It's grape soda. <laughs> grape soda flavored ice cream. Oh that would be God. extra. extra yeah, well yeah, yeah, yeah. The just, ice cream, the ice cream come with a fucking couple of grape sodas and shit. Like what oh type shit. of shit is this? Oh, well, just grape flavor. Oh, whoa, it's a grape drink. <laughs> Smuckers. Oh my god. Look, you go to Walmart, the motherfucking uh, car pushers got dashikis and do rags on no, and shit. Bro. I'd be more pissed off at that. It did look like a dashiki, uh, uh, type of pattern. Pattern. It was, yeah. It was packaging. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, dashiki colors. Yeah, they tried it. They fucking y'all tried, tried it. it. This is we were trying. Hey, look, maybe y'all it was tried like it. you know they were trying to like yeah. be you know just do something in celebration yeah. of it. It just was the wrong way because they didn't nah. consult anybody about whether or not this was a good fucking idea. Right. People go to Walmart every day. And they're like, hold on, that's new. What is that? Walmart proved that there's no like African Americans high high up oh, enough. God. You know what I mean? Right? Because somebody should have caught that and gone, oh, oh no, this is not how you do it. Yeah. You're not Ben and Jerry's. You can't get away with shit right. like this. Make it watermelon flavor. It's, a, it's an hour right. story. Share and celebrate African American culture and oh, emancipation and hour enduring story? hope. Hour story? Whoa. Listen, Yo, with, what music notes, Whoa. with music notes. Music notes. With music notes. So you can shuck and jive and you're at, in, in, at home. Oh my God. This ice cream will make it's you so shuck and jive. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen. The person I had an argument with on Facebook, you're right. This is fucking racist. Oh my god, nigga. That's hold on. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah.
That's got to be racist. There's no way. It is. It is fucking racist. That shit is funny, nigga. Yeah, I'm not too upset, but this is Walmart pattering like a motherfucker. Right, man. obviously. Disappointed because Walmart looks like they profited off a of black people's holiday. Oh, God. Talking about well, this is our shit now. What the fuck? Yeah, We've been celebrating this shit. What are you talking you about? Mean, who gave you the rights to, to trademark this? Right. He, he tried to trademark Taco shit. Tuesday. I think, right. I, saw, I think I saw some jewel teeth shirts talk about it's the energy for me. Oh, wow. What type of gay ass shit is that? Come I'm on, sick. man. I'm sick of these right, commercials and ads and just ruining our shit. Right. That's crazy. Using our slang and it's terrible. I ain't gonna lie, man. That's that a wild shit. And if y'all don't know what Juneteenth is, it's a federal holiday that commemorates the emancipation of African Americans who were slaves. Right. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our fucking holiday. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm blackity black. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm blickety black, black. And I'm black. And I'm black. And I'm black, yo. And I'm black because I'm black. <laughs> Look, got these white motherfuckers over here. That was a uh, uncomfortable. Segment. Our black friend is tripping a quick, again. A quick monologue from CB4. That, oh that's my God. God. <laughs> that's Brought you by hilarious. Lee. That's really, you oh. know, Juneteenth and Father's Day is on the same day. That's on the same Sunday. So you know what that means. We got to have the kids on the pod. I'm down. We got to have the kids on the pod, at least for the last like 10 minutes. Facts. They're going to be our first guest and only guest. You hit the bong and shit? Yeah. It's yeah, t- well, maybe not, not that. Oh, and tell no? them, and, and t- and motherfuckers, stay oh, high, stay cultured. Stay high, yeah, stay cultured. Shut up, bitch! That's what that's 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 Tyree. Tyree Tyree does that now. Tyree shut t- up, bitch! Tyree tell you shut up. He tell you shut up one day. He, he, he did not say a bitch. He said bits. B i t s. But he knows what he knows how to say it. Yeah, he knows what he's saying. He know what he said. He know how to say he it. Attempt to say it. Right. I'd be like, stop it. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> talk all types of shit to you. Stupid bitch. The fact that he's so Here aware, you. you know what his shit is. The fact that he's so aware is, is that's what's. He's a little juicy J. He be like, "Shut the fuck up!" I swear to God. And when we get off this pod, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll be like, "Do it." He be like, "He shut said, the f- do it." Wow. Sh- shut the fuck up. So what? I don't care if my kids curse. No. I don't give a damn if they curse. So what? Let it out. <laughs> Let it out. Let it out. Just don't do that shit at school. What Bazaar say? He said, he said, son, your daddy got a foul mouth. Right. <laughs> fucking these bitches in a foul mouth. Exactly. Exactly. They hit that shit every fucking day. I do a whole podcast while I curse the entire podcast, and they are yeah. upstairs listening they, to me. Just right. go the fuck off. They probably up in the stairs like, that's Who my is dad. he yelling at? That's my dad. They go screaming afterwards, at? too. That's crazy. That's crazy. Phoenix, what else we got, man? What, what, would, you, uh, what would you say before I uh, rudely interrupted you earlier? Rudely interrupted me for the last 20 minutes. I don't give a minutes. fuck. Um, uh, Rick Ross is leaving Epic Records. Okay, so, shout out to Rick Ross, man. He's huh. uh, shopping another deal. Should he sign oh. another deal? Should he just be independent? No, like, I feel like that would make the most sense to me. I mean, if you want to be backed by a label, that's if that's you always be a boss, as you as you are often saying you are. You now are in control of your music. No, I mean, and you're rich as fuck. Yeah, like I, I'll, you I'll can be- just put money into the music and make the money. And own Buffalo. He's big enough to where he can just release an album. Yeah, like I don't, I don't think Rick Ross needs a label, but I can understand him being like backed by the machine. Yeah, you know what That's I'm saying. That's what you want. Distribution. But if he went independent, I feel like he would like we would get better Still music succeed. from him. We'll get better music from him, and we'll get music on time when we want it. Because you know, I be I I get sick and tired of hearing these artists talk about all oh, these niggas delaying my shit. All these niggas ain't let me put my shit no, out. Then no, after, I'm what they do after that is, is say that the samples aren't cleared yet. Ah, uh, we're gonna sample clear. Right, exactly. When well, it's really just a label, just bullshit. Mm-hmm. I'm sick of rappers talking. About, oh yeah, I'm in the studio and we never hear music from them. Right, I'm sick of fucking rappers snitching on. They'd be in the studio show. though. Make some music. They'd be making it. They just don't right. be putting that shit out. Put it out. Who cares? Let us be the judge. Right. This nigga got a farm. He got a. Fu- he got the best mansion in hip hop, low key. He just yeah. had his own. He just had his own car show in his fucking yard. Yeah, it was like a big like event to be at. Like it was like a big deal. Right. And he got a non-scripted BET show on the way. Like low key, like well, that nigga is out here living his fucking best life. Out here. That's why I said no, it's fuck. a win-win situation. Would you not agree? Yeah. He out here. If he goes independent, it's all out of his own pocket. But if he goes 
to the label. They pay for it, but then they own a piece of it. Boss. They own a piece of you it. You can't yeah. be a boss and be unsigned or, under somebody. Yeah, but if he, yeah. Now might hey. be the time to, no. to really be MMG. Right. No, 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 like no, how name Diddy back, name back. built Bad Boy, you know what I mean? But, like, was, the return, but was the return on the uh, cast members from be, uh, uh, MMG, was that profitable like did they do they did they did like did they who gunplay mill is mill yes but did wale Wale is profitable is he in the terms of he still has listeners he's not the most popular artist out but don't don't get me wrong they're making money off wale who else was on that gunplay they don't fuck with a mario no more yeah marion's gone uh i think i think yeah gunplay ain't going away gunplay will always be who i think rocky fresh is gone Uh. Uh, I don't know what else they had, but yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think I think he already he already did the MMG thing though, and he was signed to a label when he did that. Yeah. Now, 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 now can is it, now if he does this independent, it. yeah, I know so he he, he may have records. more time for it, but he might fuck around and get in the way of them them uh, releasing shit because now they're signed under him. Mm-hmm. And see, when I was with the label, when I was with the label, if when I was with the label and, and they were signed under me. If the shit got delayed, I could just blame it on the label. Well, the label already has a distribution deal. Correct. With a major. So I don't have to do anything with that. On that end, I already have that aspect of it. I can just grow it and get other artists. Because he gets a budget from Atlantic for MMG. He said, and I quote, I got huge offers on the table right now. Huge, huge offers. Conversation with Def Jam. Everybody. Everybody wants to be in the business with Ricky Rose. They know when Ricky Rose want to make music, I make the best music. And when I want a huge collaboration, it's easy. I don't even got to text niggas. I can have my homies DM a nigga like, what? Funny as hell. Well, it's not going to email. Or whatever you Not too bad of a roster. Not, 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 not no one lie told. I, I, I have allergies right now. I'm, I'm, I'm going through it right now. Okay. My stupid ass was at the park the other day, it's running the through park. the park with the kids, running through the field. Mm-mm-mm. Now I'm sneezing and coughing. All that pollen. Right. Not used to it. Right. My palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Arms so spaghetti. Heavy. Arms spaghetti. Yeah, or, yeah. What do you say? What do you say? Spaghetti. Whatever, whatever spaghetti. You spaghetti. But you say he ain't never had a version of that song? What you say? The sp- uh, arms spaghetti version? The arms spaghetti version? <laughs> never heard that before? No, I haven't heard it. Oh, it's mad funny. Oh, it's, that's it's a, a real sp- thing. Yeah, there's one version like the palm spaghetti, knees weak, arm spaghetti, the spaghetti <laughs> on the sweater already. Mom spaghetti, he's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm spaghetti to drop oh, off. Wow. But he keeps on spaghetti when he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud, he opens his mouth, but but spaghetti won't come out. That is funny as fuck. It's mad funny. Yeah. I'm going to look that shit up, man. Yeah, man, but uh, yeah, Rick Ross can do whatever the fuck he wants. He's yeah. living his best motherfucking life. And like he said, nigga, I'm a, he said, he said, all these niggas can do all that. <laughs> That nigga, he is funny as fuck. He's a uh, he's a one of a kind artist that yeah. will. You nah, know what he, I mean, a, he's, he's gonna be a great personality. every time he says something. You see this nigga dancing in his house and shit. Like that's rich nigga shit, right? I'm trying to get like Rick, Rick Ross. Ross yeah, is his another person is, who needs to find his, energy. find his way into like sports announcing. That nigga is hilarious, nigga man. Shout out to motherfucker Rick Ross, bro. He need to be like uh, a like a host to like Family Feud, not Family Feud, but like a host, like a show he, or something. I mean, he already got a show on BET coming. In. So yeah. uh, it's a uh, scripted uh, TV seri- uh, series. A scripted TV series? Yeah, scripted. Oh, that's great. Oh. I'm here for it. I'm watching it. Right. You know it's going to be how some funny motherfuckers write that shit, but I don't know if... Yeah, I'm going to have some funny motherfuckers write that shit, man. What if you call Kevin Hart? Get him involved. I mean, can me Kevin Hart cool? Yeah. Uh, Joe Budden's got an interview coming out with Isaiah Rashad. Uh-oh. Yeah, I heard that shit, Spicy? Yo. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's spicy. I have to ask you, for the people who didn't know, how do you identify today? <laughs> You have nothing to say. Yeah, they're about to get into well, it. Well, they're gonna answer. That's just that clip. They're they're doing yeah, that for dramatic yeah, effect. They doing that for dramatic effect. It comes out Thursday. Jeez, so, sure but shout out to fucking Joe Button though. Shout out to Joe Button for even securing this for fucking. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a big interview to land. Yo, for this situation, this is the first time uh, Isaiah has spoken since uh, Coachella, which he didn't really uh, say too too much about it. Just kind of. Thank people for their support. I think it's gonna be a great fucking it's interview. Be a great interview for two bisexual for men talking, you know, about discussing hip hop and shit. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but but who else can secure? Buddies, buddies, buddies. 
it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot Money. of pause worthy moments. In I that mean, who else would you like? To, who would you rather do that interview, Charlemagne? Yeah, no, no, Charlemagne. He'll make it. He'll, it won't even be funny. Charlemagne no, will try to make it funny, funny, and it'll be it'll be a crazy. Joe's is gonna be unintentionally funny, right? Oh God, like oh Joe's, God. Not, Joe's not super funny, but he, it's, he's gonna, gonna know a, what to ask. Damn. Yeah. You picked the fucking Lakers to win the championship before the season starts. No, the fuck I did not. Don't ever put that in my Whoa. mouth. Don't ever Whoa. pause. Jesus, that's funny. Pause. Uh, but why did he say that's pause? Funny. That's funny. Whoa. Why are you gay? <laughs> you are gay. You know? We'll see, uh, we'll see what happens at the end of you. I'm sure we'll talk about it again. Yeah. After it comes out, so. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. But uh, I think that I uh, know. But all, in all seriousness, in all seriousness, I do. Um, I do like that. Uh, Joe Budden's out here doing this, though. You know, I'd rather him do. I'd rather him do the interview with him and not and not fucking Gail King or nobody else. <laughs> Gail, because he's he's gonna ask questions that we want to hear. It, it's moving the culture forward, Loki. Though, if you think about it, it's further removing like that stigma, like gay, like like that gay men or men who don't exclusively identify as straight men aren't accepted in like hip hop. So that way, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have to continuously keep gay bashing these niggas. You know what I'm saying? I just want you to know that somehow, some way, WAC 100 is the reason they're doing this interview. It just sounds like something he'd be involved in. He'd be in too many people's business. Right. Wack, Get ahead Wack, of the gay Wack shit. is definitely in the middle of this somewhere. <laughs> Behind the scenes, orchestrating. Yeah. That's and he's going to talk about it in a month. Talking about, I hope I was able to try to get in contact with Joe Budden. Hey, good thing he can rap, though, because if this nigga was trash. Oh, they'd be like, damn, this nigga can't rap any any give whack head. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck you you did it. You, what? you did that. You did that. Say? That was you. Hey, what hey. the fuck did you say? You know he signed oh, you, right? What the fuck? Top yeah, dog entertainment. In the index for buff net niggas. Whoa. <laughs> he signed a top dog entertainment. Whoa, top. Wow. All right, you got to chill out. You have to chill out today. You have to chill out today. Anyways. Give his dog Why time. are you gay? Why are you are gay? <laughs> Who says I'm gay? You are gay. Hey, you see the fa- father of that viral rapper? Uh, Hold on, we still talking about uh, Joe Budden shit? Oh, no, no, we not. I mean, go ahead, move on. Yeah, we can move on. Yeah, yeah move on. Then. Okay, the father of the viral rapper. What's his name? Kesu. 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 At least that's why. That's why. That's why. He's saying his name. Kesu. Is to testify his own against his own son uh, up, uh, on this upcoming murder trial. Yeah, and that just brings the question: Would you testify on your own son? Well, son. well, we'll think about it. Like, well, well, well. The story is the what fucking is dad. The dad has been charged with being uh, an accessory after the fact uh, to the murders so of two. Yeah. So what? Rival, what what's the story for the murders of two rival rappers of his, his son? His son Queso, uh huh, supposedly, allegedly, is involved in two. Murders, right? That his dad helped clean up, right? You know what I'm saying? So he's looking at 90 years and three felony murder charges. So he's been charged after the fact. Uh, and the reason why, and the reason why, uh, I guess allegedly a case so uh committed those murders is because the niggas, uh, some niggas was uh, the, the niggas that he killed or allegedly killed was just his brother. Okay, okay. And, and his he, brother is dead. And he went, okay. And he was a rapper. Oof. So he went out and smoked him. So basically, them niggas was dissing his ops. Ops ended up being my brother. And they ended up getting into a fucking gunfight, and yeah. niggas died. So the dad was there to clean up the shit. Or at least that's what I think. That's what I think happened. I didn't really look into it. But his dad is just somehow allegedly involved in that incident. He helped clean it up. Right. So I you're. Try to get him out of it. Yeah, you're a part of this. You're involved, you're an accomplice. You're already probably a convicted felon. You probably on parole, on some parole. They already talked about he was the but he you, was the leader of like their gang. Like he was the leader of their gang. The dad, the dad was the leader of he was the gang oh, leader. Damn. So how are you sitting there thinking that you aren't responsible and you're going to testify? It's, uh, yeah, testify of course. Flip flopping ass on. bitch. Yeah, nigga. I mean, yeah. Against your son. Yeah, and he, and he been you a part of oh, you a whole bitch. That nigga oh, saying all that. Nah, you're a whole. Care. That nigga fifty said, "Damn it, man! I done seen it all now. You can't trust nobody. Nobody. Not even your own fucking dad. Yeah, that nigga. Hey, yo, they they they, hey, they threw that. They threw ninety years at the dad, and he was like, "Oh, fuck that, son." And see what, yeah. you told you and see what I think. But I, I see, summon, fuck it up. 
But beside, but what I, but I think what happened no. was like I think what happened was uh allegedly if Queso uh did do the shit like I think what happened was he went on a long mission to you know retaliate for the niggas dissing his brother. Yeah, and the daddy was the well, daddy we don't really didn't know though. Right? Exactly, the daddy wasn't with that shit, so he was like, "No, fuck that shit. I wouldn't even really with that shit. I just helped the niggas. I just helped them get right. rid of the you know the shit." But who knows? Maybe he was the driver, shit. But in this situation, I I don't I don't agree or condone snitching at all. You don't snitch at all. Once especially, you snitch, you snitch. You was a fucking snitch. And your especially you're is involved a in the situation, and you're out here telling. A snitch is a nigga that's involved in criminal activity, telling on another motherfucker involved in the same criminal activity. Right. The only conversation you'd have with to 12 save themselves is call my lawyer. And can I use the phone? But do you gotta understand? A lot of these motherfuckers, they got money to afford lawyers like that. Public defender, at least you are gonna be a public for a while. defender. Regardless, you okay, don't you talk get eighty five years now. Regardless, you don't talk. Yeah, to you the going police. to jail? Yeah, you don't snitch, especially if you, especially if you, if you are, well, I complete the fifth. Uh, and you are an accomplice to this shit. And you out here telling. I'm, I'm the Bitch, you you was half the reason we was even in this situation. You now the you reason, I, yeah, you the reason I am who I am today. Right, dad, right. gang member, gang leader, gay gang, yeah. gang gang. I would never testify against my own son. I don't can't, think can't, I yeah. can testify against my own son. It all depends on if my son, if my son, if my son, like your son was out here on some stupid shit. Would you, you ever jump your son it? into Mecca? No, uh oh, no, <laughs> nigga, Mecca don't exist no more, nigga. Damn, first Mecca broke up. Every right. day I wake up. Hey, none of these, <laughs> hey, none of these, none of these, hey, 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 none of these groups, none of these groups stay together forever, nigga. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, uh, I'm just this saying, like, Mecca boys break up. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> my son, like, when it comes to me testifying against my son, like, if my son tried to kill me or kill, like, his mom or his sisters or his brother. Testifying? I don't think I'll still testify. I'm just not going to court, period, probably. I don't want to be. Yeah. It's already, in the race? It's already bad enough. We're in the race? Some take a shit? <laughs> with, like, with my son? No. His son got locked up. You found out he got locked up. You're doing the race? They're coming to get you. You going on the run? Yeah. In the streets? You, you become a You become a fugitive? Yeah. You become a fugitive? Where do you go? Never mind. Don't answer that. But this is only if. I don't need to know. This is only you if you're not involved in the crime. Right. At all. No, if you're involved. If you involved, nigga. Right. If you involved, a rat is a rat, nigga. Don't, I am a flight him. risk. Fuck we talking about. I'm out of here. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I'm out the fuck uh, here. No, I'm not. Don't say that. That's don't, crazy. Don't tell him that. That's crazy. Did y'all see that? Uh, did y'all see that uh, United Airlines fight? Yes. Gave him the hands. Gave him the motherfucking hands. Hey, shouldn't have been talking shit. Should have touched me. Oh! Hit him. Back Look, back. that's these two, these two niggas fight. Oh, shit. Just listen to him fight. Okay, this is the, uh, the customer. He was laying hands on that nigga. And then, oh, and then he slapped his ass. And the, and listen. He and he knocked this nigga into the fucking baggage claim. God damn. Yeah. It happened. He beat the brakes off that nigga. So basically, the the dude that worked for United Airlines, what American Airlines? Yeah, American. Yeah, he he was already a, around his like little booth in my area. Don't, you shouldn't even be over here. Why are you over here? You're intimidating me. Why are you over here? Well, I'm 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 whooping your. Well, ass. they fired his ass. They, he got they got his ass beat, and then he got fired. Good. Good. And the nigga that he and the, and the dude he got got involved with uh got into the altercation with. He's an ex NFL player. I think he used to play for the Broncos. Uh, Brandon Langley. But he was. But the thing is, I thought it was G Herbo at first. No, I thought I thought it was fucking Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole. That nigga looked just like Jordan Poole. Oh God, I was like, what the fuck is Jordan Poole that doing? Super fucking weird. Version. I couldn't tell what he looked like. They gave him the hands. He also though. looked. I was like, oh shit, Jordan Poole on some Rodman shit. Gave him the fucking hands. Hey. Leave it in the middle of the playoffs to go go somewhere else. I like, what the fuck you doing, up. Jordan Poole? You remember what that nigga? You remember what that nigga Jordan said? That nigga just left and went to Vegas. Rodman did. Yeah. Had, a, had an all nighter. Jordan but see the Bull thing is, that, that was rookie. Year. But see the thing is, the fucking uh, the uh, the United Airlines employee, that nigga was he was he wasn't charged with anything. He was just fired. See, but the football player, he was charged with fucking simple assault. So that's crazy though. Niggas getting attacked by the fucking 
the airline employees now? You can't even fly no more. It's not even safe to fly no more, nigga. Oh, yeah. In the I last. Tell you this, I probably would have. I probably would put hands on him too. Yeah, nigga. Anybody. If you put your hands on me. Oh yeah. No, he wouldn't. Even, or if you he, approach, he even, or if you approach my, my you, you approach, approach my fucking me. like my, I ain't my, that shit go. my personal space. I ain't like, that shit go down no more. Sorry, nigga. But, I'm sorry, nigga. Chins is getting checked. Eyes are getting blackened. Noses are getting broke, nigga. I'm definitely swinging. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you talking about? Knock your ass the fuck out. What you talk about? But that's crazy though, man. Absolutely. Like, it is. It's becoming. It's becoming like like the airport is like the to- most toxic fucking place to be at right now. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. That is crazy. Bro. That that is wild. You're, you're right. Masks. Airplane or or airport baggage claim. It's the one place you really shouldn't fight. You should TSA. Be, you should not be acting like a fucking dumbass at the airport. No, there's no grounds you for it. Get on a no fly list. So Y'all cool. got to be on your best behavior. Remember, motherfuckers used to be like, you can't say bomb, right, bro? These niggas, bro, motherfuckers are doing. Damn. Damn. They do a ten times. Fuck saying bomb. I might bring one of right. these bitches. Motherfuckers will bring that shit on the plane and be like, I can do this shit, you fucking anti-vaxxer. Right. Wild. Don't worry. I'm not going to blow it up, but I have right. it. Like, what the fuck, bitch? Right. Nigga, the last two years, that shit been crazy. Nigga, fight, refuse to follow mass mandates. So you wear fucking dirty panties on your fucking face. Y'all out here fucking with Mike Tyson. The fucking with me. Like, what? That's how you know. That's how you know that there's something wrong with the fabric of the universe. When niggas is just like running how, up on Mike Tyson. How dare you think you can run up on Mike Tyson? Are you a fucking moron, nigga. Something is. That's up. Mike Tyson, bro. Something. He, he's. I guess he just wanted to find out. Man, he you fuck around and found out though. Yeah. Motherfucker, jacket off at play sight. They had to stop serving alcohol and shit on flights and shit. Remember that. Y'all gonna fuck it up for everybody. They fuck. They had. They have been. They have been. How you going on the plane beating me? They That's need to let us vape That's on the crazy. plane. The fucking uh, Karens are out of control, nigga. They are stopping Karens. flights and having flights turn the fuck oh. around. I don't so give a mad. fuck. Do you see him? He's fucking. He's staring. I'd be so mad to have one of those annoying ass people on the plane. Oh my god! Because we just all trying to get to the next city. I, I, I'm gonna call your fucking manager. Fuck have out. you fucking fired? Bitch, now, all right, now we're now we're stuck here for another two days. Oh God! You know what, guys? You know oh, what? My layover in Austin. Thanks. Another another twenty four hours. Oh, come on, you fucking bitch! Thanks. Come Bel- on, man. Thanks, Belinda. And then Alec Baldwin has the fucking audacity, the unmitigated gall, to condemn the fucking uh, ex football player. Didn't he shoot somebody for the airplay, airplay, air, airport fight? Calling it workplace abuse. Alec yeah. Baldwin, Baldwin calling it yeah. workplace abuse. Who gives a fuck what Alec Baldwin thinks? You know what's workplace abuse? Right. He just like fucking OJ Simpson. Niggas like, okay, we get it. We, we get it. You got away with murder, motherfucker. Now All shut right. the fuck up. Go fuck off. Go sit down. Relax. Shut your bitch ass up. Yeah, because your standard of a workplace is a yeah, tip top, huh, Alec? Shut, yeah, ain't, that what happened on the, ain't that what happened on the fucking the set of Rust? Yeah. You Absolutely. fucking shot a woman with a rusty ass gun and took away from her family, nigga. What the fuck are you? I don't know why he doesn't just shut up. Some people just gotta shut up. He, he should have just like, yeah, faded with the wind. <laughs> Somebody, hey, yo, some motherfuckers need their Wi Fi took. Why are you even really like outside right now? Why do you have social media? Goofball? He just like he just like fucking uh he just like uh OJ. Yeah. Oh my god. OJ's the funniest though. These niggas cannot. OJ is out here every day on you Twitter. See, yeah, okay, yeah. His, his Twitter is lit. But that's the thing, though. Alec Baldwin, five years from now, Alec Baldwin will end up being funny as fuck. I don't follow OJ, but I've been seeing all of, all of OJ's tweets. Yeah, what else? He just about? tweets videos out. I think, yeah, he do. I think OJ just weird, corny ass nigga. Uh, looks like yeah. we're getting another versus. Another versus on the way. Oh, shit. Who is it? It is UGK versus uh, A-Ball and MJG. Hey! Oh, Pimp C P A trio nigga, Polo fuck, fuck that, that heel figure. What the fuck? Damn, yo, A ball M J G, A ball you. Hey, we. Hey, I think I think I think I kind of like manifested that shit because you was like, "What's your WWE uh theme music?" Yeah, and yeah. I said, "You don't want trouble. trouble. You don't." Whoa, yeah, that's just- no. yo, I ain't gonna lie, I'm here for it, because I, I fucks with both of them, heavy, nigga, pause, okay. UGK, I like, I, I, he said, let's really treat him, what do you say, I can't 
can't even say that line. I am not saying that. Really mistreat them and battle feed them, bend over, beat them. Yeah. MJG is the reason your season needed. Season your spike. They need it. More like the lucky. Yo, I don't know what that nigga said. That nigga, but he went he off. off. <laughs> that nigga, MJG, goes yeah. off. Remember that shit? Don't make. Make me kill me, no, kill no more fucking body right here, 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 here. I'ma I'm shoot, shoot, I'ma shoot. shoot three shots, three shots. Somebody done, done made me hot. Right, yeah. Don't get me fucked up. We shoot guns and hit targets, meet markets. See that nigga? Yeah. <laughs> and that nigga A ball, that nigga A ball, hey yo, he used to snap, bro. A ball be fucking snapping. They're from nigga. Memphis, huh? Yeah, they from Memphis, man. Right, Memphis, man. Coming out hard. Pause, nigga. <laughs> Who, uh, who you think is taking that? <gasps> unfortunately, Pause. UGK taking that shit. What is it? Unfortunately, because I love I love both groups. These these are two of my like my favorite rap groups of all time, nigga. Like yeah. and but UGK had just has more hits. They have more commercial hits. Sipping on some mother. Hold on, I got hold on. I got the shit right here. You, I mean, I mean, just just to name a few, nigga. Hold on, just to name a few. Like we're gonna pull the list up. I'll pull it up. I got to pull it up, nigga. Like I let these motherfuckers know, nigga. You already like you already got you already got uh you already, you already got international players after me. I sipping yeah. on some scissor. Yeah. Get throw pocket full of stones. Big pimping. The game belonged to me. Front back side to side. The game belong to me. That's my shit. You think though. they're gonna play pregnant pussy? But but you just you run a low though now. What? As far as like big big records. Yeah. I got Bobby by the pine, Whitney by the key, DJ Screw by the gallon, bitch. The game belong to me. Oh my goodness. Rest in Thank peace, you. motherfucking Pimp C, man. There's gonna be a bunch of old people in the crowd. Oh. A bunch of forty year olds in the crowd going nuts. Man, Pepsi was a funny ass nigga, bro. Like Pepsi, I miss that nigga. Remember what he said this, y'all? I'm gonna say this too. You niggas out there think this shit is cool, but it ain't cool. He stood up for me it, what he believed man in. Ain't never been butt naked in no room together with no holes, pulling no orgy type shit or doing none of that whole ass shit you niggas out there be doing, thinking you doing some fly shit. Nigga, if you in a room naked with some other niggas and some broad, them niggas looking at your ass. And if that shit that in the gate, and you need to get on some other shit. Me and this man got nothing but respect for each other. We ain't never pulling no train. We ain't no motherfucking freaks. We some family men. We getting this paper. Know what I'm talking about? And I had to put yeah, that out there for because a lot of niggas doing a lot of fool gays and shit out here, man. You know what I'm saying? These niggas they flopping, they pitching and they catching with these boys, and they doing all this. So, and if you gay, that's cool. But be gay and come on out and, and be that. Don't be in front of us and act like a straight up G, and then you get over here and you let any boy bust up your back. Whoa! <laughs> hey, pause. Let, let, tell him. Tell him, Pip. Why are you gay? Why are you gay? <laughs> Who says I'm gay? You. Oh my God, nigga, yo! I ain't gonna lie, but MJG, they last uh, living legends. Yeah. Like that was like probably one of my favorite rap albums when that shit came out because that shit had uh. Straight Cadillac, Pippin, remember that shit? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Spread the news. I'm about to, I got I, nothing to lose. I'm about to listen to that all the I way got home. nothing to prove. I got things Let's to do. do. Got the streets in my pocket. Okay, yeah. And you hate it, better stop. That shit was hard. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. And then he had, then he had that, uh, MJG had that song with uh, Lloyd. See a nigga like, like me gonna, gonna get, get money, money until I get rich. rich. Ride with a couple hundred G's in a biscuit. Stay down for whatever, forever hustle with my misfit home. Remember that shit? Yeah. So you gon' see just how crook this shit be once we get rich. Remember that shit? Yeah. Then it's back to hustling with my misfit. Deep on the creep, 50 songs chopped under the chrome. 50 songs chopped. I'll keep up here. Time. If change, it's gonna be this. Damn, what the fuck? Nigga. I'm sorry, nigga. Gonna that, gonna be, that shit gonna be lit, nigga. I'm not lying, nigga. Bro. I think it's gonna be close. Fat boy MJ. What? Nigga, we the truth. Holler at a player, man. Streets yeah, on the booth. Ass. We popping that you hate us, man. Pause. Who you got? Oh, you got Phoenix? Who's your guy? Yeah, of course. I'll quick, quickly. This is, there's no. Yeah. But uh, but 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 uh, MJG like they got like got a lot of features. They up in they was up in Stay Fly. Remember they was Stay Fly. I gotta yeah. stay fly. Ah ah ah. They was up in there, so that that shit's gonna play. It's gonna be a crook ass. It's gonna be a crook ass motherfucking event. Yeah. Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Three day weekend too. I gotta see if I got off. 
Pause. That's crazy, nigga. Your, your, your job, don't you, your job don't fuck with you if you ain't got Memorial Day off. They don't give a fuck about you. They said, nigga, don't bring your ass into work, my boy. Texas little group chat we got. Hey, They're like call hey. Rai Rai right fucking now. That's what nigga. That's that's right. that's why they call you Rai Rai right motherfucking now. They got you back. Hey, so yeah, you need to fill in for everybody else right. now. Right. In that group chat, we here clean these toilets. <laughs> Hell no! Isaac took a shit on the <gasps> top of the toilet. So, <sighs> fuck is Isaac? I don't know. Is somebody that works? Isaac's about to, Isaac bitch ass about to clean that shit up. No, fuck. Isaac's too busy. He's gotta go to a meeting. Hell no! Nah, meet these nuts. Fuck you talking about? Whoa! <laughs> hey, yo, hey, hey. yo. You know, fuck about that looking in the index for buff Ooh. net niggas oh, 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 just for some hot butt sex. Like I said, meet these fucking nuts. <laughs> what? Don't ever put meat and nuts in the same motherfucking <laughs> sequence, nigga. What else are we talking about, though? Y'all got any more topics? <laughs> oh, no, I don't. Oh, shit. Hold on. My shit died on me already. But Mike Tyson, uh, fuck with Mike Tyson. We already said that, though. But, uh, oh, the starting five of uh, Kendall J- uh, Jenner. Damn. Uh, T-shirts that are going on sale. shaming ass T-shirt. God. Got all the Jesus. starting five uh, people that she's been with. Blake but Griffin, Blake motherfucking Griffin. Uh, Kyle Kuzma, Devin Booker. Uh, who else is on there? Uh, I don't know. Let me damn. See. Ben Simmons. Yeah. And who's the fifth? Who's the fifth? Damn. I think I took a picture of that shit. I was like, yo, y'all niggas need to see this shit. But damn, they got a whole, they got the whole starting five on that That's motherfucker though. Yeah. That's crazy. That's some slut shaming shit all right here. there. The gang's all here. Hey, but would her, or would her starting five win a championship if they were all on one squad? No. That'd be the most underwhelming, all in their prime. underperforming. All, their, all in their prime. All in their prime? No. I don't think so. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, who's the fifth? Simmons, Ben Simmons, and then uh, who's dude for- Is that uh, D'Angelo Russell? Yep. Yeah, that's who the, the other one was. No. Like, fuck no. Let me see. Maybe it's a different one. I see an actual shirt. Where's this actual shirt at? Hmm. All right. Can't find an actual shirt. Let me find <sighs> it. The, the research that the pod takes. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna Google real quick, and we'll put it on the screen. I'm no, sure. but uh, for yeah. real though, uh, but for real though, to have a whole a, have a whole motherfucking uh, start T-shirt five with the niggas you fucked on it. I ain't gonna lie, I like I like the uh the shirt, the shirt. The hard. shirt raw as fuck. I ain't gonna lie, the shirt raw as fuck. You, would you wear it? No. I no. wear it. I ain't no motherfucking cloud chaser. Yeah. Um I don't think and I don't think that starting five aware. You got motherfucking Blake Griffin, all he do is duck K shoot. Yeah, more than five. You got man. fucking Kyle Kuzma, K fucking uh he's he's not he's not he's not a consistent scorer. Uh who else they had? Fucking Ben Dude Simmons. The, he don't shoot at all. Due to the jazz. Uh 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 oh oh the sixth man, the fucking dude, come off the bench. Fuck it. Uh, ben Simmons, D'Angelo Russell, Jordan Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson. Kyle Kuzma, Devin Booker, and Blake Griffin. No, hell no. That's an underperforming. That's shit. I'd be surprised if they make the playoffs. In their prime? Yeah. They ain't got yeah. no leader on that team. Yeah. <laughs> they don't. They ain't got no leader on that team. It's just Devin. You got a lot of, you got a bunch of fucking diva ass niggas. Fucking Those are all the guys. divas. Those are the divas of the fucking league. It's got a type. You know what I'm saying? Yo, one trick right, pony ass niggas. That, that's all. Yeah, yeah. That Divas ass. ass, diva ass niggas. What the fuck, man? Anybody? I think that, that shit's funny though. That shit funny to have all the niggas you fucked on one t-shirt. That's crazy. That's like a uh, Mount Rushmore of uh, who you fucked. Good job for you. Starting five. Yo, we live in a savage society. I mean, you're just like your sister. So good. We give no fucks, Yikes. nigga. We give no fucks. Y'all ready to move into sports though? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's move into hey! fucking. Uh, hey! It's good. Let's move into fucking sports, man. What they talking about on TNT? He just banging and banging and banging. When well, a guy's banging you, the fuck is this? You don't you spin off of him? Whoa, that was yeah, that was that was that was oh. a while ago. Chuck, that was a while ago. Yeah, Chuck, Chuck, yeah, Chuck need to chill the fuck out. Chuck, what gets me about that clip every time is when is Shaq cracking up at it. Yeah, because that's shit so that's so fucking pause. You just right realize now. it clicks it in Charles's head all of a sudden that he said it that way, and then goes, "Come on, right? Come on, my nigga, come on." <laughs> Oh come on! Yeah, it looks uh, like, yeah. and uh, yeah, it looks like the uh, Celtics is going to the fucking finals. They didn't, they didn't beat the Heat. Damn! So it's uh, three two right now. Celtics Warriors finals. Celtics Warriors finals. Celtics Mavericks. 
Celtics are on the Mavs. No. The Mavs are on the verge of fucking. Yeah, elimination. They, you think they're going to push it another Celtics, three? Another two? Mavericks. No, nigga. Ain't no fucking team ever came back from no game seven. And they do not have the offensive fucking firepower to deal with the uh, the Warriors. Did you not see. They came back and won. Did you not see motherfucking. Uh, did you not see that Luka game? Luka get his ass ducked the fuck off. I saw. I seen every game. Okay. I've watched every game. Okay. The, what? What that mean? Luka put up. Luka put up 40 twice. Is in the three other? games that they in the three games they lost, and they still lost. Yeah, no. What are you talking about? Everybody else has got that's got to stop. I have out. faith. You have faith in the fucking Mavs and Luca. Good luck. No, they don't. And, and Luca, we trust. Look, they be look at the <laughs> Luca, we trust. Mm-hmm. Right. NBA just waiting for the white savior. Yep. No, nigga. It's hey, it's still Steph Curry, nigga. Hey, that, I think, and I and I think, I think, I think, I think the I think the, uh, Warriors, I think the, Warriors, I, think the Warriors, I think the Warriors, I think the Warriors, I think the Warriors win it all. I think if they go to the. Uh, Finals only because I feel like they'd help your team and their record against the Celtics. They have a winning record against the Celtics. What or the if Heat. it's just the Celtics? Yeah, right. Damn, and and, and now the Heat got to go back to fucking Boston. So that's that's a wrap when they go back to Boston. Friday. That's a weird. That's a weird ring. If Boston gets this, that's a weird year to win. Just like out of, I don't know. Yeah, for when they started. Like, yeah, they started. Yeah. They started out of the playoffs. Yeah. It wasn't until the second half of the season that they, you know, kind of like it got up. it all together. Yeah. Never quit. It made a fucking a fucking strong up. ass run, yeah. and of course, I mean, once you get rid of the Greek freak and you get fucking Kevin Durant the fuck out of here, yeah, you have no choice but to. I mean, that's that's the stronger team. I mean, that's a better team, a deeper team. So, uh, but I, I think it's gonna be a still gonna be a good ass finals though. Absolutely, I'm here. I'm, I'm yeah. I'm here for it. Watch it. I'm pretty sure you're gonna watch it, even if it's the Warriors. Um, I fucking hate. But yeah, the all NBA teams though. The all NBA yeah, teams. Fuck it. Uh. Who was the fucking first All NBA team? They had fucking Devin, Devin Booker. Booker. Yeah, buddy. I think it makes sense. Ah, he was an MVP it. candidate. No. Yes, he wasn't. He, he fourth was, placed fourth. No, his in the race for MVP. No, he wasn't. A, he wasn't the true. He wasn't the true. Uh, he wasn't the true like MVP candidate this year. He wasn't the true MVP candidate. He didn't win. Because, like, the reason why is because, like, we seen, we seen it was levels to this shit when Luka fucking got these niggas out in seventh in the second fucking round. That ain't got nothing to do First with team, Nikola, uh, Nikola, uh, uh, Nikola uh, Jokic, Giannis Antetokounmpo, you, you, he was unanimous. Luka, Devin Booker, and Jason Tatum. The second team is Joel Embiid, John Morant, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, and DeMar DeRozan. So they put Booker over them. And then the third team is Carl Anthony Towns, LeBron James, Chris Paul, Trey Young, and Pascal Siakam. So I saw a lot of people reacted to, you know, Devin Booker being up there. Uh, also, Joel Embiid, him being snubbed. Like, how yeah, the Joel fuck Nikola Jokic? I don't know. They be, uh, they be gassing Jokic. Yeah, they be. Yeah, they, be, yeah, they, uh, yeah, they are. I get it as in, in the regular season, because that's what this is. It's still a regular season award. Like, uh, it's based on your performance in the regular season. I still don't see why they like they like love Jokic so much. He's not that great. I mean, he's a great center, but like Steph Curry had damn. Few, Steph Curry had fewer yeah. All NBA votes than Devin Booker, Luka Doncic, and John Morant. He's about to eliminate two of them in the fucking finals right now. Yikes. He's about to eliminate all of these motherfuckers right now. So crazy. That too, but so. we're talking about playoffs versus regular season. But they never get the. They just yeah, never the get it right. They just never get it right. They just, they just never get it right. That just me, but that, but that, it doesn't, it doesn't matter that the regular season is over. And I know it's a regular season of war, but at the same time, we are starting to see that that's bullshit. MVP. It was bullshit from the yeah. start. You niggas, oh, you niggas just stay well, watching now basketball. They're creating new awards for that. That's what the Magic Johnson and the Larry Bird Trophy are for. Now you can be MVP of your conference. That's, that's like participation. We'll see. We'll so see. We'll see how that shakes out. That's just another one for you to get an award too. Like, that's oh. just so that the second place gets an award too. Right. We'll, we'll see how we'll see how that shakes out, man. But yeah, I, I got I got Celtics Warriors in the in the finals because yeah, the Heat. Yeah, Celtics Warriors. For sure. I don't think the Heat gonna come back from that. That's what it's looking like. So like the niggas even score. They even score hundred points. The, I wanted the, to see playoff Jimmy in the finals, but he got hurt after the fucking uh, yeah. second game. So. Is what, what else? it is. Uh, we got uh, we got Canelo Alvarez and uh, Triple G. You, you here for that? Three. Uh, I'm here for it. I mean, it. I'll watch it. Yeah, I'll watch it. I'll watch that. There's two people I actually know. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Canelo right. Alvarez, who arguably the best boxer in the world. I think he just, I think he's coming off of a loss. Yeah. Like, I'll watch it if Lee buys the pay-per-view and I'll just pull up. Oh, fuck that, nigga. We go somewhere else to watch that shit. We go to the bar? 
Yeah, we go to the bar. We go to the bar. We go to the bar. We go to my fucking barbershop. My barbershop, but uh, 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 my nigga, yeah, yeah, but it, yeah, but it's more like a lounge in the barbershop, man. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas ain't culture. Y'all know what the fuck y'all culture. talking about. Well, we, uh, well, it's not my places. barbershop. Well, I'd rather I'd watch it at my house before I do that. NFL, NFL wants to uh, do away with the Pro but. Bowl. They want to get, they want to get rid of it. I ain't watch that shit. That shit is unwatchable. I can care less about the fucking Pro Bowl. Fuck you. I mean, that's cool if they just name niggas. Hey, this nigga was a Pro Bowl player this year. That's cool. We don't need to see the actual game. No, okay, no, I don't care about that. Why but they, get rid of the they don't army. even show up anyways. But breaking news in the NFL was, uh, oh, Colin Kaepernick is getting a a uh, like a tryout with, with the Raiders. Raiders. Ooh, having a practice. The Raiders, fool. That's hard. They got a, a lot up? of quarterbacks already, so this Good. is interesting. That makes sense. Hey, but him just making the roster—that's all. That's that's cool. That's that's good enough. I mean, ain't Chucky over there with his racist ass? No, no, he has a whole fucking lawsuit against the NFL. What a weird time him. for them to interview Colin Kaepernick as soon as there's a case going on that involves the Raiders' name in a negative light. Who had a lot of racist shit to say. Right. I think he's in, I think he has some shit to say about Kaepernick, too. Up in there. I think, he, yeah. He has some shit. Uh, I think uh, John Gruden did have some That uh, boy some wild always shut up and throw that football. Listen, he if, he's, like if he signs with the Raiders, that jersey is going that they're doing numbers. That's oh, yeah, just going that's just going triple oh, yeah. platinum. Oh god. They sell they sell millions of those jerseys. Oh yeah. Kaepernick come back and the, on the Raiders. All black. The all black jersey. And and he going to a squad. And he oh, I'm definitely getting it. And, you, and he going to <laughs> a fucking and he going and he and he's going pause. And he go, and he pause. going to a fucking uh a Super Bowl caliber team too. With I mean, Derek Carr, Derek Carr done. and motherfucking Devontae Adams and motherfucking Hunter Renfro over there. And uh, who they just pick up? Oh, they just picked up Chandler Jones on so the defense. He'll be a backup. I'm not gonna I lie. I mean, if he but they evaluate him and he's good enough to be the starter, they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna try it out. Preseason, you gotta see it in preseason. What happens? He ain't played yeah. how many years? Oh, oh, Doesn't no. mean he wasn't practicing for five years, probably. Just 17, 16, 16, 17, something like that. So five, six years. He ain't been hit by an NFL player in seven Four. years. Yeah, but he's also we'll maintained. See. You know. That activity level, it seems like. Right. And I'm saying, unfortunately, and, and it just, he just threw it, for undrafted receivers recently, yeah. too. So yeah. to do that. Uh, so but he's that's like, a, but, he's, been, he's been throwing. But they don't respect that. They don't, they, they look at that some Instagram shit, cut yeah, up, of course. cut and paste, edit, and all that shit. A real NFL workout, that's a huge step in the right direction. Right. Of him getting, of him getting the uh, opportunity to be, get back on I the agree. field. Which is really what he said. He said you started putting yeah. Black Lives Matter in the end zone. You started doing all the shit that I was basically promoting. Right. I had like I'm not even saying like I deserve to be in the NFL. What I'm saying is show me that I show me why I shouldn't. I mean, give me the workout. You know I'm good for it. Like right. I'm good. I should be good enough to get a practice, a workout. Oh you know what I mean? Oh God. Let me prove to you I'm not good. Yeah. So shout out to the Raiders yeah. and shout out to Colin Kaepernick. That's yeah. Hard. Yeah. I hope that works out. Big, big uh, leaps. It'd be great to have Cap back in the league. Yeah. Add another interesting quarterback to the mix. Yeah. Other than that, I don't have anything else uh, to discuss. Just, you know, I just want to, you know, just, again, send my thoughts and prayers out to the families of that uh, fucking tragedy, bro, uh, that happened in uh, Texas involving all those kids, bro, all those babies. Uh, but I do appreciate y'all for, uh, for tuning in uh, to the episode, episode 86. Uh, it's been a pleasure uh, sitting here laughing and kicking with y'all. Uh, make sure that y'all uh, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, make sure y'all follow us on uh, Instagram. Double tap. Double tap. That smash that shit. fucking like button. All that good shit. Hit us up Subscribe. on Twitter. Subscribe. Uh, hit hit the DMs uh, on um, on uh, Instagram. Just Highly send a cash pod. app every now and again. We ain't even got no cash <laughs> app set up. But we will have one set up real I soon. Do. Y'all I'm saying break, break niggas off a little bit of change. But, <laughs> uh, but again, I'm the highest podcast send host tips. in the fucking world. Post. It's Lee. You can follow me on Instagram at Butler underscore underscore Lee. This is your man Phoenix. You can find me on all social media at that guy Phoenix. It's Rai Rai. Follow me on IG at it's Rai Rai Davis. And stay high. And stay fucking cultured. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. We go the hardest, gonna love us regardless. Gonna see us wherever the top of the chart is. When you in the game, they can't call you a vulture. Everything kosher, cause we highly culture. Whatever is popping, you know that we stand on top. If these words cannot stand my conscience. Who do it better? No one come to know shit. Gonna be top voted, cause we highly culture. Yeah, we highly culture.